Hello, everybody. What is going on? Welcome. Uh, we have a fun one here for you tonight. Buckle in for the next four hours. You're going to be watching Super Paper Mario. Uh, this game was released on the Nintendo Wii. It is the uh, successor to the Thousand Year Door. Um, so stick around. We'll be here for a while. And without further ado, I'm going to toss it over to the one and only Yoshizilla. Take it away. It feels good to do another run here. So as JCR said, we are doing SPM any percent. It's a bit of a long category, about four hours, but that's okay because you know it's a late, it's a late night and it's gonna be a fun run. Uh, before I start this run, I just want to real quickly just give a shout out to Justin, aka Monado. He was going to commentate for me, uh, but unfortunately he's not feeling the best. So, you know, he wanted to be here, but he can't, so you know. Justin Minato, we love you. We wish you were here. Love but, you, Justin. But get better. Feel All better right. soon. All right, but uh, you know, as you can see, fittingly, I have the file name as Pace 2022. So I don't think there's anything stopping us. So we'll go ahead and give the countdown in five, four, three, two, one, go. All righty. All right, welcome to the third Paper Mario game, and arguably the last good one, uh, you know, before the series kind of went downhill, but we won't get into that. So, Super Paper Mario is a bit different because unlike the other two Paper Marios, um, it's kind of 2D and 3D. Like, it, this game is mostly a platformer, but it is still an RPG. Like, you know, like, you still got it, your Paper Marios, you got, um, you know, the standard RPG. But, you know, it's, it's just, it's a little different, and... People argue that this has the best story. Like, you know, what do you think, JCR? Like, what oh. do you think of this story? Well, this story is really good. I'm, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone who hasn't played. Uh, definitely, I highly recommend uh, playing it casually if you haven't or haven't played it in a while. Uh, but like Yoshi said, this game, um, I think the best way to describe it, or at least the best I've heard, is uh, the first two Paper Mario games are focused more so, uh, they're basically an RPG focused with platforming elements. However, this game focuses more so on platforming and has RPG elements, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it's the best way to describe it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it, we will be able to get into 3D, but the interesting thing is, is once we uh, go into 3D, we will actually take damage if we are in 3D for super long. So, it's kind of unfortunate, but actually, it's beneficial to us because there are some glitches that allow us, that we're allowed to do by taking damage in 3D. Oh yeah, there's totally uh, a bunch of different cool mechanics we're going to be showing off today. Uh, even though this is a four hour run, there's tons of stuff to cover. Uh, right now, as you see, Yoshi is just going through the prologue. Uh, and the prologue is, as you can see, a lot of mashing the one and two button. One and two. I'm so. just mashing one and two as fast as I can. Yes, it is as hard as, uh, like, it is as hard as it looks. Uh, so, you know, mash wisely. You don't want to get, like, carpal tunnel or something, which is why I stretched my hands before this run. Yep. Absolutely. So Mario's dead. You know, we're only, like, two All minutes right. into the run, and Mario's Yay. dead. Yay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. It's Luigi's time to shine. All right. None of them. So this is Count Black, and his goal is to basically fulfill the prophecy that we, we skipped it, but there's an intro where the prophecy states that uh, a monster and a princess would be married, and then the chaos heart would essentially be awakened, and uh, that, well, it has chaos in the name. It's going to wreak havoc, and uh, it's, not, it's not that good. Um, so, you know, Peach and Bowser were the monster and princess, and they kind of got married. Peach kind of against her own will. Um, and, well, that fulfilled the prophecy. Uh, so this is Tippy, uh, the butterfly, is basically telling us that we need to stop all this because the prophecy spoke of four heroes. So you might be wondering, oh, Mario must be one of those heroes. Who are the other three? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Who, who do you think it is, JCR? Like, do you have any guesses? Uh, personally, man, I am just perplexed. I have no idea whatsoever. Um, maybe, maybe it's Merlin here. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we'll who? see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> prologue is a bit slow, but the good thing is this prologue is only about five minutes and 45 seconds long. In Paper Mario 64, it's about 20 minutes. In Thousand Year Door, it's only 10 minutes. And in this game, it's only about six minutes. So, you know, they kept cutting it in half, which is great. Yep. Always love to see shorter and shorter prologues. Yeah, so 
In this game, there are actually eight pure hearts. Um, you know, usually in the other games, it was seven, but we got a pure heart. We're already right. off to a great start. Hey, that was quick. The first pure heart out of eight. And I want to mention, you may have noticed there was some text there where I could have selected yes or no. If you, cho if you choose not to save the world, you will just die. You will just instantly die. That's it. And uh, actually, that's not the only, <laughs> that's not the only not part the of the game where that happens. I'll try to point them out. Oh, yeah. And JCR, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to embarrass you oh, yeah. when we get to that Actually, part. I think I'll do it myself. Yeah, okay. You know, <laughs> it sounds good. Oh, yeah. That should be fun. Uh, so we had to put the first pure heart in the first pillar. Uh, basically, in order to access every chapter, we have to put each of the arts into the pillar. So first pure heart, chapter one. All righty. And essentially the reason why the world is going to, just going back to the lore, uh, the, the reason why the world is going to be destroyed is because there's a black portal in the background that is going to continuously get bigger and bigger as the days go on, and it'll eventually just eat away the world. You know, standard, you know, end of the world stuff. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, what if someone made a movie, like, of this? <laughs> that would be cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. I mean, we already have the Mario movie, you know, coming out. Yeah, 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 true. Yeah. Shout out to Chris Pratt, man. <laughs> So, Tippy is going to tell us to save. Nah, good. I think I'm good for now. So, I want to mention that um, this game really loves to eat inputs. Um, you know, I didn't really say anything there, but um, I tried to go down that elevator, the first elevator at first, and I completely missed it. That's because, you know, this game's fun. It just doesn't detect inputs sometimes. Yep, very cool. Also, something to note, uh, you will notice that Yoshi is playing on the English version of this game. Now, uh, the Japanese version of this game is actually faster. Uh, the text, as with most games, is slightly faster. Uh, there's also a couple tricks in the Japanese version that we can do, uh, which we can't do in the English version. However, there is a reason which we are not using the Japanese version here today, and uh, that reason is by technicality, it's known as a pre-caching error, but basically it means any door that you enter, or any room that you enter in this game, there's a slight chance that the game can crash yeah, for no reason. It has to do with the fact that I'm on a US Wii U and, I'm, and you're playing the Japanese version on a US Wii U. It's really dumb and it kills a lot of runs. Like, it's not that common, but it's like, you know, it, it happens sometimes, and it's like, wow, I got so unlucky. Or you got really lucky, who knows, because it's like such a rare thing to happen. Oh yeah, so Bowser's, you know, I guess part of their team, but That's it cool. was also Peach, and it was also like one dude. Who, who knows? Uh, so the way this game is actually split up is there are eight chapters, but they're actually split up into four sections. So we got chapter one, one to four, two, one to four, and so on for all the chapters. And the world just gets built. So, standard Mario, we have the planes as World 1, you know. Keeping the trend with Mario. Yep, absolutely. This world is called uh, Lineland Road. Uh, there's going to be a couple things that we will be doing here in 1-1. The first thing that you're going to see Yoshi do uh, immediately is go all the way to the right of the room, and there is going to be a house that will enter, which will give us a pretty significant ability. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I did collect that one coin intentionally, and this game is all based on motion control, so right here I'm going to be pointing my Wii Remote at the screen, hoping that my sensor bar picks up my Wii Remote, because sometimes the sensor bar is bad, and it did, so that's good. That's good. Um, so yeah, essentially, you need to, uh, anytime you, there's a hidden object, Tippy has the ability for when you point your Wii Remote at the screen, she'll reveal some hidden uh, objects, like a door. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So this is Bestovius, and he is going to uh, ask us a couple questions here, and after we answer, um, he's going to give us the ability to flip in between 2D and 3D, which will be used a lot. Uh, it is pretty much the main me mechanic or gimmick, or whatever you want to call it, for this game. Um, and we'll actually be seeing it right here after this uh, text. Uh, Yoshi's going to flip into 3D and collect an item. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to be getting a Shell Shock. I could also get that Shroom Shake, but um, that's mostly for safety. And while I want to be safe during a marathon, it actually makes item management a little easier not to get it. So I usually opt out of getting it. Yep. It's also important to note that, uh, well, currently Mario's our only uh, 
party member, but he is the only uh, the only character in this game that can flip in between the 2D and 3D. Yeah, exactly. So, got a little bit of tutorial stuff right here, but we are going to get some points. Points are essentially... Wow, that item... Nice. Okay, oh. I did not mean to grab both Ooh. of them. That item, RNG. All right, we need to turn this to a 100% run now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's like 12 hours. No, thanks. Um, okay, well, that's a little unfortunate that I got both of those items, but whatever. We'll, we'll be fine. That's all right. Yeah, so uh, coming up here in this next room uh, is actually a pretty important... Uh, level grind. As she was talking about, our level, which can be seen in the top middle of the screen, the uh, blue score icon. Uh, we're going to be pushing that up slowly, gradually, all throughout the game. Uh, the higher level we are, the higher attack power we have, and the higher HP we have. It's uh, uh, pretty much how this game works. But as you see, Yoshi is currently bouncing on a bunch of squiglets right now. And by no oh, that's unfortunate. But basically, the goal there is to jump on all of these squigglets in a row without falling off and to chain as many points as possible. Okay, uh, let's see. All right, 22,000 is not ideal, but I think if I just get a ton of mushrooms, I should still be okay. Yeah, you'll be all right. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to get a lot of stuff. So the ideal amount of leveling you wanna get there is about 30,000. Um, but I messed up. That's okay. Oops. Uh, so one thing to note is I'm taking damage while I'm 3D, and what I'm going to be doing is jumping right as I'm about to take damage, because then it continues Mario's momentum, which you will see right here. Nice. So there we go. Yeah, it's not that hard at all, thankfully. But yeah, this... Chapter chapter one's not that hard unless you are doing the very infamous Green Bridge skip, which is in the second chapter, but it is Japanese only, and as we said, Japanese is not that good. So, you know, we're we're not gonna do that. Alright, so as I said, I'm at twenty-two thousand. I think I can still get to the level I need. I'm just gonna need to collect a lot of mushrooms and a lot of extra items. Um so we will try to do our best. Yep, very nice. So uh, there's actually a couple of cool things to talk about with this level. Uh, unfortunately, there is a, well, maybe a fortunately, honestly, uh, there's a pretty big trick in this level which we are not going to be seeing here today because it's uh, very difficult. Uh, it is known as Green Bridge Skip. Uh, there's a portion of this level in which we are going to be uh, releasing two draw bridges, a red one and a green one. We can skip the green one using some insane movement. Uh, however, it so is, bad. Uh, yeah, it is. It is extremely difficult. Uh, Yoshi actually was uh, contemplating going for it. Uh, however, we decided against it at the last minute. Yeah, you know, I had a plan, but then I was kind of like. Nah. <laughs> As a side, no thanks. All right, real quick, we actually have a, uh, a donation here. I'll read it off. Go for it. All right, we have $25 from Trans Dementio. Dementio from Super Paper Mario says, hit the sleigh button. Thank you so much. That is going towards the Nintendo Switch giveaway. Uh, just a reminder for anyone who wants to donate, uh, all donations will go directly to benefiting Urban Arts. And there's actually certain incentives that you can put money towards, such as the Nintendo Switch giveaway. Uh, so feel free to donate if you would like. Donate as much as you can. What's our current amount at? Uh, we are currently at 4,475. Nice. All right, so this guy right here, his name's Red. That, that, that's just, that's his name. His name is Red. And you have to let him know that your favorite color is red or else he thinks you're the worst human being on this planet. Um, so, yeah. Um, coming up here is where we could do Greenbridge Skip, which saves about, what, like two minutes or something? Yeah, two minutes. Um, but, you know, it's absolutely not worth going for in a marathon setting. Like I said, I was contemplating going for it, but, you know, we decided against it. Yeah, it is uh, insanely difficult. There's actually two methods of doing Greenbridge Skip. There's another one uh, that's a really, really old school method we used to do. Uh, with a life shroom, it's known as life shroom jump. Uh, that method has sort of been obsoleted, though. So right here, can actually just skip flipping into 3D by jumping in a specific way there. Who needs 3D? We well, certainly not us. So yeah, basically doing green bridge skip would allow us to skip going down here to get throw, which is the first pixel um, partner that we will be getting. Um, 
and it skips uh, having to like spawn the bridge and everything. He looks like a hand. Yeah. So this is uh, this is Thoreau. This is the first pixel that we're gonna get in the game, and um, we will get a number of different pixels in this run. We'll also be skipping a number of different pixels in this run, but uh, this is a skippable pixel. However, as we said, we're not going to uh, be doing it. Thoreau is pretty cool. We can press the one button, and he will grab objects, enemies. Uh, we can complete a couple of different puzzles with him. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're no longer trapped. That's good. Being trapped's not good. So now we've got to make our way back. And we're going to do the same thing that I did coming into this room. Just going to jump, and then they just kind of push Mario forward. Nice. It's pretty cool. So now we're going to go talk to essentially the mayor of this, uh, of this town called Watch It. Um, and you always tell, you know, being that his name is Watch It, he always tells you to watch it. You know, very funny. So essentially, if you were to talk to him without having Thoreau, uh, he would be like, oh, you're probably not the hero because you don't have the pixel of a hand. So once we show him, hey, we do, he's like, all right, just go see green. So there's a red and there's a green. I feel like this is a rip off of someone, but I, I, I don't know who. Yeah, I can't really tell. I'm not too sure. It's Waluigi. It's Waluigi. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's Waluigi. <laughs> All right, so we're just going to go talk to Green and get the drawbridge lowered. Um, now, he's going to ask us the same thing. He's going to ask us what our favorite color is. Um, now, the thing is, is you can answer green, red, or both, and it does not matter. He kicks you out. If you answer green, he's like, you're lying, you're wearing red. If you answer red, he's like, wow, you're a disgrace. And if you answer both, he's like, you're still a disgrace. So, no matter what, we can't win. It's a loaded question. Shouts out to green. Okay, kicking us out of the house is faster. It so is actually shouts out faster. To green. Shouts to going fast. All right. So, that's the end of the second part of chapter one. Uh, and I guess you may notice that I'm not saving. An interesting thing about this game is there's a lot of input buffering. So I was just holding down that entire time and mashing two. And by doing that, it will just select, it will select no, which is pretty nice. Yep, so this is Yol Desert, this is 1-3. Uh, there's actually a lot of really cool things that we're going to be doing here. The first thing you see Yoshi doing, uh, going to grab three items, a fast flower, the happy flower, and the power pills. Uh, going to kill some of these enemies here, grab a couple of coins. And, uh, oh my gosh, what is this item, RG? <laughs> this is actually insane. Uh, we're going to be jumping in front of this uh, red tree ten times, and there you go. That's the room. Yeah. So normally when you go to this level, you have to figure out that you have to jump under that red tree like ten times. But we're speedrunners, so we already know how to do that. Or if you've played this game before, then you'd know that. All right, so there's a very, like, very minor skip right here, but it's honestly awesome. It's just called a uh, squig jump, a uh, squig rock jump. And what I can do is normally you have to go through this, uh, I don't even know what you call these things, but you just flip through and get all the way up this platform. But I could just jump off the rock like that. I'm actually going to get a few extra points right here. There we go. All right. Take a little bit of time just to get a few extra points. And now we actually come to the first mini boss, which is O Chunks. Yeah, O Chunks <laughs> is uh, hey, man. He's a bit of a troll. <laughs> He's a character. Uh, so this fight is supposed to be pretty easy. You know, it's the first boss fight of the game. And not too much to it. However, uh, this boss fight can troll you a little bit. Uh, he has a little animation where he can grab Mario, and it's kind of hard to predict or react to it. And uh, getting grabbed will lose like 10 to 15 seconds, which is unfortunate. But so let me teach you how to beat him. So you throw him in the corner, and then you just shake the Wii Remote as fast as you can. Oh, that's a level up. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, my okay, goodness. that's how we control. Okay. Oh, what? Okay. Just Got keep it. shaking. What? Okay, delayed. Okay, there we go. There you go. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah, but you can see he could be a little bit trolly because sometimes he'll just decide to jump and do that, but yeah. it's all good. So I don't, I don't think we mentioned uh, what Yoshi was doing there by shaking the Wii Remote is called a stylish move. Basically, every time that you jump off of an enemy in this game, you can shake the Wii Remote and do a stylish. You'll get some extra points as well. It's style. You get points for style. Absolutely. 
All right, and here comes another trick called Ice Turbo Skip. Yep, so Yoshi's gonna grab that Ice Turbo with the row, and at the height of its floating animation, jump off its head and get to the door. Very and nice. then there's another skip right here. Yeah, just back to back. Just so this back is, to back. Uh, this is Blue Pedestal Skip or Star Block Clip. Um, essentially, there is a really, really small ledge that Yoshi is going to walk on, and by just continuous momentum holding up, boom, and we just flip back into 2D and hit the star block just like that. Easy. And skip the blue pedestal. Very nice. Very easy. Skips back to back. See, even though it's four hours, you know, there's stuff. Um, I guess something that we did neglect to mention is Unfortunately, the reason why this game is so long is because you can't skip from like chapter one to like chapter five or anything. You have to do everything in order, um, which is a little unfortunate, but it makes for a lot of cool sections of the run because there's a lot of cool things that you can do in every level that will potentially have you save time. I'm gonna go ahead and just get some extra points there because I am a little behind. Um, there is not too much in this level, but there will be a little trick coming up uh, called, I even, I forget what this trick is actually called. Uh, well, it, simply, it is called uh, Key Early. Uh, so it, Yoshi is going to be entering that locked door right there you see on your left. And um, basically, this trick was found actually by myself and big shout outs to NM Flash 8. Uh, we found this a couple years ago now. But um, essentially, Yoshi is going to be uh, dropping into this the quicksand, doing what's called a corner clip out of bounds, and with some uh, neat out of bounds movement, you can actually grab a key that's loaded in behind some brown blocks. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and kill this guy. Yep. All right. All right, that's nice. the first part. All right, so nice. I'm still out of bounds, and just flip and grab the key. There we go. Nicely done. That was actually pretty good. Yeah, that is a really good key early. So that trick saves, um, I think doing it that well probably saves around 15, 20 seconds, yeah. uh, which is pretty good. You're normally meant to enter uh, that door on top of that ledge, hit a blue switch, uh, and do some oh, back please get the No, don't, oh, I don't want to hear what Mario has to say. Oh, boy. Oops. Little movement error. Something about this game that's actually a bit different uh, to the other Paper Marios is movement is actually very important because since it is a platformer, uh, you know, kind of similar to a game like, I like to give the example of Mario 64, movement does matter, you know. You could save a second on every level and since there's like 32, like I guess 32 sections of the chapter, uh, not quite because you don't quite do all of them, you know, you're saving like a decent amount of time by just saving a second. It may not be as crazy as 120 star, but you know, you're gonna be seeing a lot of 120 star later, so you know, get used to platformers. Yep. So uh, basically, the best way to describe the rest of 1-4, uh, every time that we enter a room, there's pretty much a puzzle that we have to complete. Uh, just as we see here, we're hitting a switch, now a red button. Uh, it'll just get us through the room, and we're going to end off the level with our first chapter boss of the game. Remember to stay hydrated, everyone. All right. So Mario must have shoes of steel or something because he can just walk on those spikes. You know, no biggie. All right, so this combination is always the same. You usually flip into uh, 3D to see what it is, but I remember it, thankfully. You know, I've played this game at least once, so I want to say I, I, I remember it. Yeah, sometimes I don't, so. I will mention though, I actually usually have notes for this run that I completely forgot, so JCR is going to help me in case I forget anything. I shouldn't, but you don't know. Yeah, hopefully I, uh, hopefully I remember everything. We'll see. As a wise man once told me, step one, get good. <laughs> Alrighty, so here we are. Uh, this is the first chapter boss of the game, and as we see here, uh, our first chapter boss is Fractale. Uh, so this is a uh, pretty pretty lengthy boss. Uh, the main skip we're going to be doing is jumping the Fractale's tail uh, onto his head again. And can we get some Fs in the chat for the Wii Shop channel? Because you're going to hear a bit of it right here. Yep, there it is. Wii Shop channel. That's where I bought Paper Mario for the N64. Same here. 
and a handful of other games like Mario 64, Mario Kart 64. Those were before my time. <laughs> so the funny thing here is Fractail actually recognizes us as the hero and is like, oh yeah, you can pass. But then Dementio here decides to mess with his programming. And yeah, unfortunately, now he wants to fight us. And coming up, I'm going to need a little bit of help from the audience. Can you guys help me out with something? You know, I'm going to need a little bit of help. So, you know, I think that Pace is a great time, and this is a great run and a great charity. So I think we should commemorate this moment. Let's get a picture. Let's get a picture real quickly. I'm just going to go ahead and put down my controller. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this. There we go. Everybody group up. All right, everyone group up. We're going to get a little bit of a picture. All right. Bro, what? Come over. <laughs> Come on over, everyone. All right, you guys are good. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Give yourselves a hand. Give yourselves a hand. All right, so uh, I'll just cut to the chase. You have to wait for this boss. I'm not losing any time by doing that. You have to, you have to wait for a bit. So that is why I did that. Uh, but now we'll get back into playing it. Um, so Fractail's going to go on a very long cycle and just basically wait. We just have to wait until we can jump on him. Just like that. And we can jump right through him just like that. So the gimmick of this boss is we have to actually hit him three times. So we have to wait for his little frackles to spawn. Just like that. I'm actually going to try and spawn four. There we go. And I'm going to do another trick. It's not, it's not the easiest in the world. But I'm going to try essentially Ooh. Aww. that's okay so yeah you might have seen what I was trying to do I was trying to hit that antenna right there uh, I'll have another chance to go for it so let's try again there's a, uh, a really specific spot that you have to stand at uh, you want to be a certain part you don't want to be too far to the left but you also want to be high enough to uh, jump onto the antenna let's see if I get it Ooh, there nice. we go very nice there we go Alrighty. Alright, got it at least once. So yeah, doing that saves about, what, like 15 seconds each time, I believe? Yeah, I think so. So something around that. Yeah, it's, it's a decent amount of time save, actually. So, and uh, something cool to mention about uh, jumping from Fractale's tail onto his head. Uh, there's actually a booklet for this game that mentions that trick. So it's sort of like a, you know, developer intended secret, but it's pretty cool. Yeah. So we are nearing the end of chapter one, and we can just go behind this pillar right here, just to kind of hide. Mario's a little camera shy from however many people are watching the stream. <laughs> All right, so this is, was it Merlamina? Is that, that, uh, I think so. Yeah. I actually have no idea. <laughs> so she's been waiting to just kind of essentially vent for like thousands of years. Um, so she sees Mario come, and she's like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, tell you my story. And, uh, yeah. And, yes, she does indeed. Tell Come you on, you're stuff. killing my hands. <laughs> <laughs> but she eventually gives us the second pure heart. All righty. So there we go. So there we go. That is chapter one. That is chapter one. Here we go. Yay. Wahoo. You've got a pure heart. I don't know. I think the first one was a little easier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, the first one was definitely easier. Okay, there we go. That is the end of chapter one. So now, the unfortunate... Well, there's an, an unfortunate and a fortunate thing about this game. The unfortunate thing is, kind of like the other Paper Marios, there are some intermissions where I have to control as someone that's not Mario. But the good thing is, in this game specifically, there are only two intermissions that you have to do that. And it is the chapter one intermission, and is the chapter two intermission. So yeah, that's great. Dude, we got some nice music going on. I was about to say, we got some music going All on. All right, that's beautiful. Let's go. <laughs> All right, so I want to talk a bit about this next cutscene right here. Basically, we're going to be playing as Peach. Uh, we're currently in Count Black's castle. Um, we don't know this yet, but this is actually 8-1, which we'll see way, way later tonight. Way, way, way later. later. Uh, but I do want to talk about this room in particular. There's something really cool about this room. 
Uh, as you notice when we enter this door to our right, there is a ledge, which uh, we can't really jump on, but it looks like there's something up there. Uh, and there is. It is actually a pipe with a chest specifically holding a key. Now, if we were, at this point in the game, somehow to obtain that key from that chest, we could actually sequence break this game and trick it into thinking that we're in 8-1 when we're only just through chapter one. Where is that music coming from? <laughs> it, is, it is beautiful. <laughs> that is the question. But yeah, that sequence break is really cool. There's a, you know, it, it would save time for other categories. Currently, we don't have, obviously we can't get up the ledge, um, but currently we also don't have a way to complete the game in that state. There's certain pixels, characters that we don't have at this point in the game. Uh, but it's, it's really cool just to uh, talk about it. I think it's something that's a really cool potential for this game. Maybe we'll see it one day, who knows? Maybe, maybe one day. Oh, the music stopped. <laughs> but yeah, Peach has an interesting ability where she can float with her parasol. Like, don't you guys wish you could just take a parasol and just float like that? Like, that'd be amazing. Save you in a lot of different instances. So you might have noticed that these Koopas are actually on Peach's side. That's because they're not actually with Count Black. They're actually with Bowser. And in this case, they're trying to help Peach instead of, like, kidnap her. Um, but unfortunately... They are slowly but surely getting hypnotized. And here, you know, I guess, PSA for everyone, here's how you tell the Koopa's hypnotized. They wear sunglasses. Nice. They gotta look cool while hypnotized. So yeah, thankfully this Peach cutscene is not that long at all. In fact, it is just about over. Yep. And uh, something to note that this pre-chapter segment, or this enter segment, whichever one you want to call it, uh, this is actually going to be, uh, I'm pretty sure it's the longest, uh, pre-chapter segment in this entire game. So we got a lot of stuff to go through, but uh, we are going to be doing some, you know, a couple important things here and there. Yeah, exactly. So after we finish the chapter, we always go back to Flipside. Flipside is the main hub of the world, or of this game. So, you know, get used to Flipside. Got Flipside, and we got another one later, but I won't spoil what it is. Yep, so right here, uh, after this elevator, we're actually going to be going into Merlin's house. Uh, this is to start, yes, again, another cutscene uh, with more mashing. So we will go ahead and do that. Yeah, I just chose, I need to make sure I manage my items because I got a lot of extra items. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah. the farmer's at the very, uh, it's, it would be up two. Yeah, I, I think so. You got a turtle leaf somewhere in there. So. I got a turtle leaf and a shroom shake, so, <laughs> you know. So this, um, this person comes in freaking out because a girl fell from the sky. Now naturally, you, you know, when a girl falls from the sky, you'd probably freak out, but at the same time you'd be like, wow, a girl fell from the sky, that's awesome. Yeah, you know, a girl fell from the sky, uh, you know, pretty important situation going on. We're actually gonna go cook food, uh, you know, instead of helping them, so th there is a reason to this. Uh, Yoshi's gonna go down this elevator here. And uh, we're going to go cook specifically that fire burst that we picked up in Bestovius' house back in 1-1. That's going to make us a spicy soup. That's because we know that we're about to need the spicy soup in this next cutscene. And this is the only time in this, uh, in this run that you will hear this jam. So get used to it for this one time. It's kind of a jam. You know, just get into a jam as you cook. If you want to see a lot more of this, watch a 100% run. Yeah, as JCR was saying, we get a spicy soup, and now we need to go up, but the fastest thing to do is actually to use this return pipe, which sends us immediately back to Flipside Tower. And then from there, instead of taking the elevator, we are just going to jump right off. Yep. There's a lot of really cool cutscenes all over, or, you know, little skips that we can do all throughout Flipside, and that return pipe is going to be incredibly useful and used pretty much in every pre-chapter segment. Basically. So yeah, more mashing, more mashing. It was Peach that fell from the sky. Guys, here's something great about this game. It's a little bit of a spoiler, but Peach actually, that's the only time she gets kidnapped. For the rest of this game, she won't get kidnapped. That's the first in like how long? A very, very long time. I know, she usually always gets kidnapped. But here's the thing, I can think of another game where another certain princess gets kidnapped like six times in the same game. 
<laughs> what game might that be? Oh, you know, the old famous Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 <laughs> for the Xbox 360. <laughs> but anyways, what essentially happens here is Peach mentions that she wants to join Mario on his quest. And Merlin essentially says that the prophecy did speak of four heroes and that Peach could potentially be the second hero. So Peach is like, Mario, I want to come along this quest with you. And as any good boyfriend would say, they would say no, but then your girlfriend's like, nope, I don't care what you say, so I'm going to join you. You, just, you can't win. You can't win the argument. No, no. But yeah, that's cool. So we actually have Peach in our party now, and uh, we can use her cool abilities. We saw the parasol allows her to glide over some gaps. Uh, she also, if you press down, um, she can actually block a lot of defenses. Pretty much becomes almost invincible from any attack. Uh, unfortunately, uh, just due to her obviously not being able to flip in 3D, and um, Mario is a slightly faster character in general. We're not going to see too much of her, but we will see Peach all throughout this run. Well, I don't know about all. Yeah, a little bit throughout this run. A little bit. <laughs> hey, no spoilers. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. That's that's for later. That's for later. <laughs> but yeah, so you know, you're supposed to at this point actually use Peach coming up, but we're actually going to do a kind of small skip with her or with Mario, where we don't use her. Um, we're basically going to use the Squig coming up right here. I did take damage, cool. Oops. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was interesting. Oh. oh, interesting. There we go. Nice. All right, so you can just jump right up there. Normally you have to go back and then use Peach, but you can do that and it saves a decent amount of time. It saves like 10, 15 seconds or so. Probably 10 seconds. Yeah, definitely. It skips going to the left side of that room, switching to Peach, rolling over, a bunch of different stuff. So. Yay for speed running. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And chapter one, two coming up is a really big glitch. It's not hard, <laughs> but you get one try. Yeah, and one shot, one opportunity. It's one of those things where it's like, it's easy to mess up. So here's what we're gonna do. If I fail it, we're gonna pretend like I got it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna pretend like I got it anyways. <laughs> so once again, we're using the return pipe because we really don't need to, um, we really don't need to keep being like, you know, we don't need to walk all the way back. Yep. So that is, uh, that's going to do it for the pre-chapter segment, and we're going to head into chapter two, starting with 2-1, Gloam Valley. Yeah. Chapter two is actually a very quick chapter. The cool thing about this game and this run in general is a lot of the chapters are kind of very evenly split. Like each chapter, almost every chapter is about 25 minutes, which kind of works out. Um, not every chapter, there's a few chapters that are longer, but, like, specifically chapter 8 is, like, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, but each chapter is kind of evenly evenly split. Yeah, we get through the first couple of chapters, uh, you know, relatively at the same pace. And then, like you said, you know, once we get to chapter 7, chapter 8, uh, you know, we're going to spend a little more time in those chapters. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to use Peach for the first time right here and then immediately switch back to Mario. Go ahead, just, you know, I need to get some extra points. Normally in runs, I wouldn't be getting this many extra points, but since I'm a bit behind, I kind of need to make do with it. Also, big shout outs to this music. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna kill these squiglets and squigs. Just like that. And coming up is a pretty, um, it's not that hard of a trick, um, but I'm gonna do it a way that I normally don't do it. Um, it's called Paragoomba Jump, and what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to jump on a Paragoomba. But there are these Pixel Pals that I normally don't get that I'm going to be using because since I'm behind on points, so we're going to see what happens. Ooh. Oh, I almost got. I, yeah, it's good. But there is a very easy backup where I can just do this. Yeah, this, <laughs> this what you're seeing right here is literally a developer oversight, but hey, it works. Yeah, so you probably saw what I was trying to do. I was trying to do the, uh, like, jump up to there with the Paragoomba, and I almost got it, but I kind of panicked because, again, I'm not used to doing it with my Pixel Pals. Um, 
but it's okay. I just need to get I need to get the extra points. <laughs> yeah. You can you can do a Perigo jump without the pal pills. However, uh, the reason that we pick up the pal pills, as you saw there, uh, they're very nice to have to eliminate all these enemies in this room. It just makes traversing this room much easier on the way back. Yeah, like I said, I normally skip it because they just kind of get in the way for me personally. Like as you saw, like I wasn't able to get that trick, but. I need to because I need the extra points, which is fine. Oops, there we go. All right, coming here, uh, you may have noticed that we skipped getting the Mega Star earlier. We're, we're going to skip it again. I know I said I need extra points, but getting the Mega Star is not the way to go. Hey, personally, I don't have any problems with the Mega Star. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like these, these pixel pods are going to be killing all these Goombas right here. Or not these Goombas, but the, uh, the Koopas and the, uh, and, you know, the... I can't think of the name. Squiggly. The squiggles, Squiggly. yes. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So coming up right here, uh, Yoshi's is going to make his way through this room, and we're going to be doing that trick that we referred to earlier. It is called Boomer Skip. Uh, so our second pixel is actually down that pipe that you saw there. However, we're going to jump off that Jobus's head to reach a set of doors faster. And um, right here, Yoshi is going to attempt Boomer Skip. All right. All right. So. so here we go. We'll explain it after I get it, hopefully. Got it. There we go. Let's go. There All we right. go. So what can happen? So you can see what happened there. I hit the switch up there um, with that shell. And if you throw it a little too early or a little too late, your shell will just completely disintegrate and... It's over. You can't get another shell. Yeah, you would have to uh, go back out and complete the level normally, go get Boomer. Um, but yeah, that trick is really cool. It actually, obviously, you only get one attempt at it, but it does save a full minute. So uh, it is really cool. Yeah, exactly. Um, so something interesting. So you may be like, wait, you just skipped a pixel. Well, here's another developer oversight, or just kind of a thing that's added. There was text right there that said that Mario got the pixel Boomer. For whatever reason, the developers programmed that if you somehow skip Boomer and also Thorough, then you'll just get him back. Yeah, it's a really, really nice failsafe that uh, certain pixels have. There's five pixels in total that have this failsafe, and it, actually we can skip all five of them now, currently. Uh, there are three that don't have this failsafe for whatever reason, so if we were to complete the level without them, we wouldn't be able to get them in the problem. And here's the funny thing about that. So you can skip those five pixels. It is completely possible to fix it. In fact, in fact we're going to skip the next one coming up. Yeah. It is absolutely impossible to skip the other pixels. And even if we could, these pixels don't have the fix. So of all the pixels that are 100% skippable, it has that, that fail save. Um, so it's kind of crazy how it worked out where we ended up being able to skip all these. Also, uh-oh, activated an Indiana Jones trap. I'm dead. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's like that spiked room in Temple of Doom. Oh, no. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? This is a really slow... If only I can <laughs> switch into the third dimension. Oh, no. Yoshi, press the A button. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you're right. oh there we man. go. Thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, we're going to do another little trick right here. It's actually a very scary because if you fail it, then, well... Yeah, it kind of sucks, um, but we're basically going to jump on this block right here. Once this is off the top, just like that, and maneuver around nice. and get this chest. So it's very scary because if you fall down, then you have to wait for the spike chamber to come down again. And it's, it's the worst feeling ever. Yeah, it is the time loss of shame right there. <laughs> oh, yeah, like... Hmm. It's not fun. Uh, also, I'm going to do something a little scary, so hopefully you guys don't get too scared. But watch what I can do. Ooh, I can just, there we go. I can just jump through him. So for whatever reason, that is the gnaw. And uh, you can just kind of jump through his mouth. His mouth doesn't actually have any, like, collision. Uh, it's only his body. Yeah, the hitbox is actually really small. Yeah, so it works out. Okay. And there we go. That's going to do it for 2-2, uh, I believe. We are making our way through Chapter 2. Yeah, so far the longest it's been Chapter 2-1. Um, but coming up, we're going to skip yet another pixel. Um, you know, Slim is the next pixel that comes up. And we're going to actually skip. And 
Here's the funny thing about skipping this pixel. Uh, there was a way to do it that involved a life shroom. That only saved about, like, 10 seconds or something, but we did it because, you know, it was faster. And then I think not, like, I think only, like, a week or so later, there was another version found that saves, like, it saves, like, you know, 30 seconds now. <laughs> Yeah, this is really cool. So uh, this trick has, as Yoshi said, it's gone through numerous different iterations, but uh, in my opinion, this is the coolest. There's uh, some really neat tricks, but honestly, uh, anyone that wanted to could do this. Uh, I think it's really cool. Yeah, it's very easy. Also, just to remember, the, the combination is 4, 12, 6, 2, 8, 16, correct? Yeah, 4, 1, 2, 6, 2, 8. Or whatever, you know, yeah. same thing. All right, so we unfortunately can't make this cycle, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go into 3D. I'm gonna be right on the edge. And I'm just going to just do this. There we go. Just kind of clip through. All I have to do is hold up and press two, and it absolutely works. So let's do it again. Nice. Yeah, just like that. All right, and now I gotta put in the combination. 4, 12, 6, 2, 8, 16. Boom. There we go. There we go. So yeah, that trick is, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think it just utilizes the switch between 3D to 2D. That's the reason why you're able to bypass the lasers there. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So you, anyone at home could do that if they want. And the second part of this trick is coming up in this next room. It's a little harder, but it's not too bad. So basically at the start of this chapter, Mimi, gave us the task of getting one million rupees in order to pay off our debt for the, um, the vase that we broke. And we somehow did it, and she didn't expect it. So when you give someone a million dollars, they will literally explode. Just like that. As you would. All right, so you normally need Slim for this, but there is actually a way to clip through. Let's see if I can get it. Just like that. Nice. There we go. So that, yeah, that clip is pretty cool. Um, basically, by jumping towards... And here comes the text. Oh, yeah. There you go. That's it right there. So um, we did skip Slim, but by jumping towards uh, that jail cell, we can actually clip in by uh, tapping to the right during our jump, which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's really nice. All right, so here comes the last part of Chapter 2-4. Um, it is actually probably the longest one of chapter two because obviously it has the boss and everything. Um, but don't worry, we're gonna get through it. And thankfully, I'm looking at my points. I should be good uh, as long as I continue to get some more stuff. So I guess it was, you know, worked out, ended up working out pretty well. I wanna have about 60,000, close to 60,000 by the end of this. Normally I have to switch into 3D for this, but I can just jump up there. A lot of movement stuff. We're gonna switch into 3D, and normally you're supposed to put these into 2D, but you can just jump up them like there. Yeah, that's pretty cool movement right there. It's pretty nice movement. Have you ever done movement like that, JCR? Uh, nope. No? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding. kidding. I have. I have. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just want to mention that uh, JCR, unfortunately, so one of the biggest times to cut has been uh, sub four. Recently, has been sub 350, but sub four was like the time to get, and JCR unfortunately got sub, or he got four hours flat by like only a few yes. frames. I missed sub four by point three. Yeah. And I'm proud. Yeah, you're proud. I'm proud of it. Also, for anyone who's like afraid of spiders, you might want oh, yeah, to go away for the next like four minutes or so. Yeah, this is a uh, Because kind of spider. Yeah. Oh yeah, she also like cracked her neck, like listen, I know there's a few people, I'm looking at you, I know there's people out there that like to crack their necks. Why? I know it doesn't actually hurt and it feels good for some reason, but why? It sounds so painful to, just to crack your neck like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, real quick, we actually have a, uh, another donation. We have $5 from the ZachLink99. Let's go. It says, good luck, have fun, smile. Zach Link is the world record holder for SPM with a 348. And he's Canadian, so Canada, or Canada, Canada rules over the SPM leaderboard. Yeah, Canada actually owns SPM. Yep. It is true. Yep. All right. That is a giant boo. I don't know how I'm going to fight him. Oh, I, I'm not. That's right. I'm not. I'm just not. 
so we kind of talked over this, but uh, there was a fake Murley uh, who is Mimi. Um, Mimi has the power to transform into whoever she wants. Um, the real Murley told us to meet her in the women's bathroom, and for some reason she thought it would be great to hide inside of a toilet. And I just want to mention, um, for anyone that's, you know, here at Pace, staying at the, you know, at the inn, is not is that toilet flush not not the loudest thing you've ever heard? <laughs> it's actually, actually, literally, it's, <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> Like, I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought it was loud. Like, it's like a jump scare. <laughs> you can hear the crowd going wild because, yeah, it's so loud. <laughs> All right. But anyway, so Mimi transforms into Merle again. It is confusing uh, us, so we have to play Who is the Real Merle featuring Mario Bro. So essentially, we're going to be playing a game show where they are going, Mario is going to ask the Merleys five questions, and we have to figure out which one is the real Merle. Now, there are certain ways that they answer that you can tell, okay, yeah, that one's the fake one, that one's the real one. But if you don't really pay attention that much, you can just pay attention to the fact that she has a fly around her, and there was only one Merle that was in a toilet, so let's go ahead and select that one. And we have All won. Right. And I just want to mention, uh, shouts to NM Flash. Uh, the reason, so he says that the reason that women go to the bathroom in groups is to have game shows. So you know, that that's that's probably that's probably what happens. <laughs> <laughs> so real quick before this fight, we actually have another donation. Uh, Ten dollars from Shaduku. Uh, there's no comment, but thank you so much. What's up, Shaduku? <laughs> All right. So this fight is not actually based on HP. It's based on hits. I need to hit her enough times to basically break up all of her spider legs. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And if I jump correctly, I can actually get a little bit of a combo. I didn't get it there. But yeah, uh, similar to the last fight, it's uh, based on hits and not uh, HP. There we go. Stylish for, nice. for points. There we go. So uh, the, the, the really annoying thing about that fight, as you saw, uh, Merle, who's sitting behind the door currently, uh, just interrupts us halfway through the fight like two or three times. And it us um, lose time. Yeah, it's, it's so many things uh, that can happen that lose you time. You can accidentally stylish, you can open the quick menu. Uh, just I've had a million different things happen to me. So, yeah. Yeah, it's not the best. Um, but the good thing is, is this chapter is now over, and we get another pure heart. We've got three in under an hour. I Let's think that's go. pretty good. Let's go, pure hearts. It's great to have a pure heart, don't you think? I agree. Yeah. yeah so that is it for chapter two, and we're gonna be going back to flip side, starting the pre-chapter three segment. And uh, as Yoshi said, we're, we're making our progress. We're through we're two of eight chapters. And, uh, Yo, PB pace, I, I don't know. I don't remember my split time for this. But I do want to mention that it's, I don't run this game as much as I used to, and my PB time is very unoptimized. So I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to PB this run. But if I you know, complete step one, which is get good and have a good run, then maybe it could happen. If it does happen, then who knows? How about this? If I somehow PB this run and I will try my best, I will donate $100 to the event. Let's go. So I'm going to try and play as best as I can. If I don't, if I don't get sub four though in PB, I'll, I'll still donate to the event. Don't worry, I got you, Mila. I got you, Mila. All right, so here's Luigi. Yeah, Luigi. <laughs> year of Luigi. <laughs> it's actually almost been ten years since the year of Luigi. Isn't that crazy? That is actually insane. <laughs> it's actually crazy. <laughs> Do people want Year of Luigi again? <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 4. <laughs> hey, we got some Luigi hype in this in this marathon. We got Luigi's Mansion 1 and 3. So, you know. Yep. Big shouts out to the Luigi's Mansion community. 
some of the best people I've ever met. Yeah, let's go. So welcome to Holding Left Simulator. Uh, how may I take your order? Literally, this entire this entire part right here is just holding left for like half a minute. So you know, I'm just gonna hold left. You know, just have fun. I'm holding left, as you can see. You know, I am actually gonna put my hand on the other part because I'm gonna have to mash <laughs> for text. But thankfully, this is the last intermission where we have to control a character that is not Mario. The other intermissions are just text mashing, which, oh man, my hands are gonna not feel good. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, so just like the Peach uh, intermission cutscene, we are actually in 8-2, even though we can't really tell. We'll, you'll see it later, maybe. We'll try to point it out. But uh, yeah, we're just traveling as Luigi, and uh, this cutscene here is gonna play out really quick. Gary, no! <laughs> So yeah, unfortunately, one of the Goombas got hypnotized, and the other one was just like, oh yeah, I've, I've been on your side the entire time. Or like, what even happens? What's the lore here? Um, yeah, this Goomba just straight up sells Luigi out. That, that's just, just basically what happens. <laughs> oh no. Unfortunate. Do you want to explain the text that we were just seeing, kind of what that's about? Oh, yeah, so that, uh, that little, you'll see that basically after every chapter. Um, there's like white text on a black screen. Basically, um, <laughs> as we've mentioned before, there is a, uh, a really, really cool story behind this game. And um, I, I don't remember exactly what the text is saying, but I know that it's talking about um, a Count Black and his former love, I believe. His former love? Got a little bit of a love story here. So I actually meant to switch to Boomer in the last battle, but I did not. Oh wait, it's actually faster to jump off the jump off the uh, yeah, the it building. is. It but is. like a few frames. Shoutouts to Zach Link ninety nine. It is twenty frames faster. Twenty frames. Dang it! I killed twenty frame frames. Sorry guys. Sorry. Uh, Reset. <laughs> Reset. <laughs> Get another run going. All right, but you're probably sensing a theme. What are we doing? We're gonna go to the next pure heart pillar and unlock chapter three. You're, you're probably sensing a theme with this game. Yes. It's kind of a, a lot of the same stuff. You know, a little bit of repetition here and there. Repetition? But repetition is good, as I've been told. That is true. Yeah, so as you can see, like, the further we go into the game, the more pre-chapter segments that we get, you'll see, like, for example, this one, we didn't have to go to Merlin's house. And, uh, you know, the next one, we're not going to have a Luigi or Peach intermission. So it'll it'll pull back a little bit. But there still will be uh, things to do during every pre-chapter, and we'll point them out. Yeah, exactly. So we do have to use Slim right here, which is great, because, you know, even though we skipped Slim, we still have to use him. Yep. Yeah, so I, I don't know if I mentioned uh, the current pixels that we have, but we got Boomer. Uh, Boomer was the second pixel in the game. Uh, it's basically a bomb that we can place down. As we saw there, uh, you can you know, blow up blocks, you can uh, kill enemies. Uh, pretty useful pixel. And then Slim, as you saw right there, you can basically make Mario really, really thin. You can get him to really tight gaps. Uh, a pretty cool pixel. Yeah, also I want to mention my hands aren't in pain. I'm just making sure to stretch them, you know, to be a bit healthy. That is true. Because there's a lot of mashing. Yeah. So we're actually going to do something a little different here. We're not going to use the return pipe. We're actually going to use Slim, go back out, and down this pipe. And that is because Yoshi's about to do a really cool trick here. I believe it's called... It's H very easy. Yeah, it's, it's literally easy. You can do this if you want to. Um, it's called HP Plus Early. Basically, run in, into the you know, left corner of that wall, and then boom, there you go. You, you can just walk through it. Yeah, I just got an HP Plus. And the interesting thing about the HP Plus is we used to have to get a bunch of items to sell oh, for yeah. coins. Oh, yeah. But then one day we remembered that the HP Plus was there, and we were wondering if there was a way to actually get it, and there is. Yeah. And, <laughs> and the cool thing about the HP Plus is that we can actually sell it uh, at a shop for 400 coins. So that is going to help us a lot. It is going to help us a lot. So chapter three is per is personally my favorite chapter. Um, it's just it's kind of the coolest. It has a lot of cool segments. It does have one segment I don't like, and it's the next part. But it has a few cool tricks that we will be seeing. Um, so you might have noticed that uh, the chapter title was "When Geeks Attack." Um, so when you think of the most stereotypical geek. 
that's living in their mother's basement with no job. Yeah, that would be Francis right here. Yep, there he is. Big Nintendo fan. Oh yeah, you know, got a lot of merch. And we're going to be doing a very hard skip right here. It's called Berry Skip. We don't like jazz. It's, it's really hard. Let's see if we skip it. Ooh, this is going to be close. Oh my gosh, we oh, got it. Oh go. my gosh. All right. So, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, so there is a pixel, an, an optional pixel that we can get called Berry. Um, and we can actually just completely skip it. Uh, you know, the way to get Barry normally, uh, you would have to complete all of Chapter 3 and then re-enter 3-1 and talk to that bush. Uh, but obviously we're not going to do that because we don't really need Barry to complete the game. That skip's not actually hard, but a lot of people have actually interacted with that bush. Nobody needs to know. Nobody needs to know? <laughs> oh gosh. We have too many witnesses. So yeah. Oh, I do want to point out, uh, you saw Yoshi use Peach there. That, <laughs> that second jump that he did from the... Uh, I believe it was a coin block to a pipe. Uh, that is actually really, really precise. You have to jump at pretty much the very edge of that block to make it uh, on that ledge. But it's really, really cool movement, and it saves a lot of time. Here this one. Yeah, I realize I actually ended up getting a bit too many points. I'm actually like, yeah, you're good. Yeah, you're I, was, good. I was good. I was good that I actually was, you know, conservative and got as many as I could. But yeah, it's great that we were at 60,000 because it actually makes this Bowser fight a lot faster. So, yeah, I guess spoilers, uh, Bowser is here. And there he is. It's, I can't believe it, guys. It's, it's Jack Black. <laughs> guys, wow. <laughs> Actually, I believe the, uh, the, the, the actor of this Bowser is called Eric Newsom, I think. <laughs> but it's okay, we'll pretend. Anyways, we got Bowser fight going up. Uh, we're just gonna use Boomer a lot and uh, kill him. Yeah, so uh, a cool thing about this fight, uh, in any percent runs in the past, you actually got a, another shell shot to use in this fight. And it is fast, however, the process of purchasing the shell shot is slow. Come on, yes! Nice. <laughs> really nice. So yeah, you can use Boomer. If you get to 60k level, uh, you can actually kill Boomer, or no, kill Bowser kill with Boomer. Boomer in, you know, Dude, uh, four this hits. Dude, this is an origami king. Uh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> But yeah, um, as he was saying, we usually, we used to have to use a shell shock, um, but we don't have to anymore. So right here, Mario and Peach are trying to convince Bowser to join them, but he's like, no, I'm Bowser, I don't join the hero side. And then Peach uses a bit of gaslighting and is like, well, if you don't join us, you're in, you, all of your minions are going to get hypnotized. <laughs> and um, yeah, so Peach has some manipulation skills. So yeah, Bowser is going to join forces. So, hey, we got three of the heroes. That's right, Bowser is a hero? What? Yeah, that is crazy. So yeah, we got three of the four heroes. And that can't be, Bowser's not a hero, he's a villain. <laughs> but hey, on, at this point, we might as well get the fourth hero in the next chapter, right? Well, guys, I guess we can say one thing. Oh. Bowser yield. <laughs> he did in fact yield. <laughs> that is illegal, you're right. <laughs> All right, so here's my least favorite part of Chapter 3, even though I do like Chapter 3. It's a water level. Yeah, a uh, 2D water level. Oh, boy. Hooray. Does anyone here actually like Mario water levels? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, and we have bloopers, uh, the most annoying enemy in this level. So. Yeah, not the kind of bloopers that you can laugh at and like be like, haha, that was so funny. The bloopers that will... Uh, they, they're just bad. We are going to flip into 3D here to avoid that a little cheap cheap. Something interesting you'll notice that Yoshi is walking on the ground rather than swimming. It is slightly faster. I don't know by how much, um, but it is slightly faster to walk underwater with Mario rather than swim. Hey, listen, you don't have to say any more. If it's faster, then hey, you might. It works. It works. <laughs> That's all that matters at the end of the day. So. Exactly. We're going to go ahead and flip into 3D again and get a decent amount. I just realized I have a lot of coins. I don't need that many, but hey, yeah, I'll take good. it. Um, so we're going to get these coins, and here comes an item that is the most <laughs> broken item of the game that you will see later. Oh, yes. Here it is. So this is the gold bar. We're going to be using, there is a trick involved with this gold bar. It is so easy to do. My friend Sonic Crow in the audience, make yourself known. Make yourself known, Crow. Dang, he's asleep. Oh. 
uh, he was able to do it, literally with no knowledge of speedrunning. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So a, a little history on that gold bar. Uh, we've actually always picked up that gold bar, even in older any percent runs. Um, however, we used to sell it. it. It was part of one of the items that we sold in the shop, as well as a couple other things. Uh, but the HP Plus... Uh, oh, beautiful Oh, RNG. my goodness. Beautiful RNG. That is sick. Okay, yeah. That, <laughs> that room, you never get that RNG. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I also got an Inky Soft drop for my trouble. Please don't pick it up. Oh, it's like kind of in the way. Ooh, you can you can get it. You, can, oh. uh, you know what? I'm just gonna wait. There, there we you go. go. I've already got too many items. All right, so here is Thudley, another broken aspect of this game. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we get we get a broken item and a broken pixel. Do, right, what more can you ask? Do you guys like glitches? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, get used to Thudley. Thudley is going to be involved with a lot of glitches. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You love Thudley? Well, you'll love him now because he has a glitch where you can gain infinite height. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So uh, about the pixel of Thudley, as you saw, uh, it basically gives uh, your characters the ability to ground pound. Uh, you can solve puzzles that way. Those little yellow poles, you can ground pound them. Uh, we're actually going to solve a puzzle here in the next couple of rooms that will allow us to open a door with Thudley. Yeah, we're going to jump through these Goombas. Ooh, there beautiful. we go. Very go. tight jump. And there's actually going to be a very cool fight coming up that used to be, it, it wasn't used in runs. It, there was a strat that was kind of considered task only, but then the community figured out a way to do it that was, you know, possible for RTA. So, you know, it's still a little iffy, but I have managed to get a bit consistent. But, you know, probably by saying that, probably I'd do myself because, you know, you jinx yourself in a speedrun marathon. Hey, only in a marathon, right? Only in a marathon. That was the thing I said a lot. <laughs> Alright, so that order is always the same. You go further in the level and you figure out what that order is, but I've played this game before. Yeah, prior knowledge, am I right? Yeah. It's great. Alright, so I need to make sure I actually switch to Bowser before, um before this fight. Um, thankfully, there is a bit of a, I guess, a cue of when you switch to Bowser, and it's basically right after you pass this ship. I do one more jump, and then I switch to Bowser. I think I could have actually done one more. Yeah, I could have done one more, but it's okay. Better to be safe. Yep. That's all good. So yeah, this is the blooper fight, and uh, as you will see here in a minute, you know, it literally takes like a minute. Um, but the blooper will show up, uh, you know, same as the last Paper Mario game before this, there is a big blooper fight. Uh, There's so many big bloopers. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, yeah. But um, as Yoshi mentioned, we're going to be doing a TAS blooper strat. That's what it's been called, but it's obviously not TAS only anymore. Um, what Yoshi's going to do at, at the very start of this fight is hold down, and that activates Bowser's fire. Uh, and that will actually get the first hit. There's a red tentacle that we're, we need to hit three times to complete this boss fight. And then essentially for the other two hits, I'm going to be using Thudley. So there's one. Nice. One. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. So now, unfortunately, we got to wait for it to come up, but that is okay. Just cut chop the other side. There. Oh, there it is. Wait. we got to wait for it to come up. Ooh. Kind of bad, unfortunately. Come on up. Come on up. Oh, my gosh. This Dude, why? Why? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there okay. it is. I probably could have actually stayed as um, stayed as like Bow like Bowser and Dudley and still gotten it, but I just wanted to do the consistent part. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, <wait. laughs> oh Bowser, don't ground pound yet. Yeah. So as you saw there, uh, we got the first hit on the red tentacle just with Bowser's fire, and then uh, the goal is to ground pound that red tentacle two times, and it starts off at the very start of the fight. The red tentacle is on the right side in that group of. Uh, other tentacles there, and then it gradually moves to the left. Unfortunately, uh, it just moved way too fast there. Yeah, I think I actually did it a little differently than I usually do for some reason, but that's okay. All right, you want to explain Thudley jumping? Yeah, why not? All right, so that pixel that we got called Thudley, uh, as Yoshi mentioned, there's actually an infinite jump mechanic using Thudley. Uh, basically, what you can do with Thudley, uh, which you will see right here, nice. So you can actually cancel a Thudly ground pound in midair by pressing one again. So you press two to jump, one to use Thudly, and then one again to cancel that Thudly jump. And after you cancel, uh, I believe it's exactly four frames later, you can press the A button, 
and flip oops, into a 3 or 2D and you go in between the two. Uh, so they, yes, this is a one frame trick. Every time that you see a Thudley jump, uh, it is a one frame trick. It, in a 60 FPS game, it's very difficult to do. However, uh, there is a rhythm to it. So uh, the more you, that you practice level jumps, uh, the, the easier it gets. And it, there is a rhythm to it because JCR can confirm that I did it while turned around. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> now, I can't do a trick blindfold, so don't expect any blindfolded <laughs> tricks, but I can still do it. I can still like practice it without looking at the screen. But this, this level used to be very infamous because we would have to thoroughly jump all the way to the top. But the gold bar, like I mentioned, is absolutely broken. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. The, uh, the inside of this tree used to be a complete nightmare. Uh, however, uh, Yoshi is going to do our first gold bar clip of the game, which I'll go ahead and explain that. Uh, basically, by using the gold bar, you can actually throw it anywhere that you want, uh, which you'll see right here as soon as Yoshi gets out of this pipe. And then we're going to uh, use the pixel slim and pick up the gold bar in 3D while using slim. And nice. Oops. Oh. <laughs> you celebrated a little too early there. Yep. So what Yoshi's going to do after picking up that gold bar is press 1 and 2 simultaneously to open the quick menu, switch to another pixel, and you can just push yourself it's right here, left into that wall. Yep. There we go. Very nice. And that skips the entire yes, level. the entire inside portion of the tree. And it is, uh, it's pretty difficult. So something we want to mention about Thudley is not only is Thudley great for this trick, but Thudley does double damage. You want to know who also does double damage? Bowser. That's a lot of damage. So you see this guy, Dementio? <laughs> well, have you ever, you know, Mario games usually have a three hit rule, right? Well, let, let, me, let me show you. Let me go ahead and show you, so. Oh, bad RNG. All right. Nice. So, one, two. Ooh, there we go. And three. Nice. Let's go. Three hits. Yeah, so as Yoshi mentioned, with the double damage property from Thudley and the double damage property from Bowser, we can pretty much do 12 damage there. Uh, by We intentionally take damage from Dementio, and we use our iframes to... Um, basically press one while right next to Dementia and that will give us 12 damage per hit. All right, I need everyone here to put their hands together and bless RNG because this section... Oh yeah. Oh man, so there's a red win. It's RNG, Just straight up luck. It has taken like 30 seconds for one to show up. Yeah, either you get one instantly or... Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Right. Not too bad. This one's fast too. Not bad. Alright, good. The Lakitu's not coming. That Lakitu can follow you and hit you off. It's not fun. Yeah, this uh, this outside portion is definitely not easy. And as Yoshi mentioned, there's actually different speeds to the type of wind that you have. Um, so sometimes you can end up with a slow wind, which is a little unfortunate, but not much you can do there. Yeah, there we go. So we got decent RNG. Not, not too bad. Alright. Three. Of those uh, three of those levels done, and we only got one more. Yep, three dash four, and uh, here we are, <laughs> coming up on a very very interesting level. Very uh, interesting. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be Francis's castle. Yeah, so Francis, you know, he loves butterflies, I guess, and so he start, you know, he wants to. He's a vlogger or a blogger or whatever, so you know, he's gonna take some pictures of the butterfly and post it on whatever gaming nerd site. I don't know. Where, where do gaming nerds go to? Discord? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> post it on his Discord. Let's go. Discord, everyone rise up. <laughs> hey, it's better than Skype. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use throw runs again. And, um, you know, JCR, I'm not really, you know, Thudley was great, but I'm not really feeling giving carry. Like, I. You know what? I agree. Let's just, uh, let's skip carry. Let's skip her. And yes, there are actually girl pixels. Some of the girl, uh, pixels are girls, and some are, you know, males. I honestly didn't know when I first played this game. But, anyways, normally we go down and get carry, but we're just not gonna. <laughs> Plain and simple, we're just not gonna. Yeah, we'll, we'll explain it. Well, we don't really need to explain carry skip because we've already explained 
most of the tricks in this run. Yeah. It oh, involves that gold bar. Yeah, so a carry skip. Or is, thudly jumping. Yeah, the, one of the two. Pretty much, you know, most of the tricks you're going to see in this game uh, involve one of those two things. Gold bar clipping, thudly jumping. Uh, there's a couple exceptions here and there. Um, but yeah, literally, the first thing that Yoshi is going to do after going through this door is just gold bar clip. And uh, by going out of bounds in this room, there's actually a plane that you can walk on to the left here in 3D. And switch to slim. Nice. And just clip out of bounds and just let's just walk across the spikes. There we go. <laughs> you can actually thudly jump across that room, but good lord, why would you yes. ever do that? Yeah, so I was going to mention there is a TAS only. 2323, two, right? Yeah, yeah, 2323. That's the right direction, I think. <laughs> we'll see. Nice. Okay, we're good. Okay, okay, all right. Um, but yeah, there, there is a version of that trick with Thudley, which is quite possibly it's not like. Fun. No, it is quite possibly the most difficult Thudley jumps in this game because uh, if you hit a ceiling, you aren't able to use Thudley again. So you pretty much have to guide Mario through that room, obviously without touching the spikes below you and without hitting the ceiling above you. Uh, but it is possible. Multiple runners have done it before. Not in a run. No, not in a run. But, but just, just for fun, you know. Because like, not only do you have to do it going there, but you have to do it going back. And thankfully, gold bar clipping is easy. We're gonna do it again. We're just gonna do this. Or we're gonna mess up, that's okay. They patched it. Oh. And there we go, I just need to make sure I don't, there we go. Ooh, okay, there we go. All right, yeah, you, gotta, you need to make sure because that, that you don't fall off. Uh, there is, not a whole lot of room to walk across that seam, but thankfully there is just enough room to where we can do that. All right, and we're gonna be doing another Thudley jump to skip another peach section. It's very minor, it doesn't save that much time. If I had to guess, it only saves like five seconds or something, but it's cool. See? It's cool. It's cool. Thudley jumping. It's Thudley cool. jumping. And there's another Thudley jump I could do right here. Um, you know, why would I do it? Just why not? <laughs> oh wow, I didn't even get Alright, well we're just gonna go ahead and use the Bowser then. Alright, yeah, I usually don't go for the subtle jump, but okay, come on. Come on, Bowser. There, there we go. go. Nice. Yeah, Bowser so just has a little bit of wiggle room to get that. Yep, yeah, that's the main strat there. Basically if you get running speed with Bowser, uh, you can get enough height to hit um, those blue switches. We actually had one earlier in this level as well, so Yeah, I usually don't do that subtle jump because <laughs> yeah. of that reason. Yeah. I tried to throw, uh, go away. Go yeah, away, that, you. <laughs> that enemy, there's a chance that that enemy will just fly at you during the cutscene. Sometimes, uh, as soon as that cutscene ends, you'll just take damage from that enemy. I found that's a bit consistent if you go into the room, switch to Bowser, wait for like a little bit, and then hit the switch. That's cool. All right, and I need to make sure that I do not enter the wrong code. There we go, because nice. if you enter the wrong code, you will go down and have to fight a chomp, and then you have to take the walk of shame all the way back up. Yeah, it is uh, It is completely punishing. So, and double inputs, which we mentioned before, will... Uh, <laughs> kill a run. Yeah, they will absolutely kill a run. Yeah, like, there's a clip of Zack um, where um, he's entering it, and I remember slowing it down in, like, in Vegas, and it's just... It's so unfair. Basically, there was an input on one frame, and then an input, no input on the next frame, and then an input on the next frame. <laughs> so, just the input just imme came immediately after, like almost immediately after. It was, it was ugly. Have you gotten any double inputs eaten, JCR? Yes, I have. <laughs> where, where, where has it been? Uh, actually, right there. <laughs> you know, in, in that. I've lost a, a couple. My, my fair share of runs in 3 4. Fair share of runs. And I've also lost a couple of runs to our upcoming boss fight. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because there's actually a different strategy we do. I don't know if you've lost a run to this strategy. Uh, uh, I, I have not gone. I'm not this good yet. <laughs> <laughs> um. Basically for this boss, we used to use an Ice Storm, which is so consistent, and I wish we had that Ice Storm, but it's not the fastest thing in the world, so we're not going to use the Ice Storm. But the strat I'm about to show is cooler, if I get it good enough, so we'll see. 
Um, anyways, the requirements to enter Francis's room is we have to answer a bunch of questions, and we also need to be a girl, aka a totally hot babe. He will only allow himself, super nerds, and totally hot babes. And I guess Mario, Bowser, they're not super nerds, so... They don't make the cut. Yeah, they don't make the cut. <laughs> but yeah, so here's Francis, and he has never interacted with a woman, as most people think gamers don't. Um, so he boots up swoon.exe, which is his way to talk to females. Um, basically asks a bunch of questions, and we can answer as Peach. Now, we can answer whatever we want, but the fastest thing to do is to answer the first two as the, as the top answers, the, set, uh, the third one as the last answer, which is the third one, and then the last one as the first answer, so, yep. you know. <laughs> it's just like Discord, exactly. Yeah, dating simulator, let's go. Definitely gotta give the Pink Princess sign poster. <laughs> he's, he's contemplating it, he doesn't really know. And we're gonna say this junk won't win us over. Yeah, and that, that skips a lot of text boxes right there. Yeah. And he's already asking for a hand in marriage, and Peach gets mad at us for choosing these answers. <laughs> so Peach starts asking about Tippy, and he has no idea what she is talking about. So Peach decides to blow up his computer. No, my graphics card. Like, listen, graphics cards are expensive. I'd be pretty upset, too. <laughs> just, just imagine if a girl came into your room and just, like, just exploded your graphics card. I'd be pretty upset, too. All right, so here we come on the boss fight. Francis is a bit of a troll. We're gonna try and do this boss as best as we can. We're gonna be using Bowser and Thuddly once again. Yeah, so um, Yoshi's gonna do the new version uh, of this strat. Obviously, we used to use Ice Storm. Uh, however, by using Bowser and Thuddly, you can actually figure out where he is, just like that. And then, boom, uh, you can predict. Oh, oh get him! Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can sort of like predict where uh, Francis is gonna spawn in. You can just immediately get a hit with Thudley. You can immediately do 12 damage. All right, so you get one more Thudley hit, and I'll be good. Almost done. Oh, this. <laughs> All right, this. You get one more hit. Oh, this guy. There we go. Nice. All right, that was not that bad. Nice there job. we go. Yeah, that strat is not the easiest in the world. The good thing though is that if you get one hit and immediately face left, he will almost immediately spawn right there. So that was not not the worst fight in the world. I'll, def I'll definitely take it. Yep, so that, that new strategy to that boss fight was found by, uh, I believe it was Zach, uh, Zachling99. Uh, also, Tippy had the pure heart. Yeah, literally the whole time. Literally the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't know, like, yeah, we, did anyone else forget that we were trying to get the pure heart? And we were just trying to save Tippy, but we ended up getting the pure heart. <laughs> and it's the green one. That's my favorite color. There we go. Also, I just want to mention that, ironically enough, it's green, and this happens to be the fourth one. You know, hint, hint to a certain other franchise. <laughs> oh, yeah, we skipped Karen. We got Karen now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, carry, you know, fifth pixel of the game. Basically, when you hop on carry, uh, you can glide over things like spikes. Uh, and what you'll see Yoshi do uh, in certain rooms, it's actually faster. Uh, you, you move a slightly faster with carry. Uh, in certain, like, short rooms, it's more optimal to just jump as Mario and just not even worry about carry, because there is an animation, so. Yeah. Like I mentioned before, though, that this uh, cutscene is only text matching. So if we have any other donations that uh, you notice, feel free to uh, read them or talk about what the charity is that we're that we're benefiting. Yeah, absolutely. So if anyone is interested uh, in donating, we are actually uh, all donations will go directly to benefiting Urban Arts, which is a great foundation that you can support. And um, you can actually, I believe, you can do exclamation mark donate in the chat if you would like to. Um, we actually have incentives going on, such as the Nintendo Switch giveaway. If you donate $25, you'll be entered into a raffle to potentially win a Nintendo Switch, which is pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Switches are pretty cool. Yeah, Switch gang, rise yeah. up! 
But if you have a switch light, I'm sorry for we, your drift. We have raised four thousand and four hundred ninety dollars. Nice. Let's get to four thousand five hundred. Let's get it. We need a ten dollar donation. And JCR, remember how I said gold bar clipping is pretty overpowered? Yeah. Think I should do it again? Yeah, let's do it. Why not? All right. Let's just go ahead and do this. Let's just do that. Let's just switch to slim. Let's just throw this gold bar. Oh, that went very far. Whoa, man. <laughs> hey, relax, Mario. This guy's trying and to be let's in. just jump off. Nice. There you go. There we go. And that skips having to go down the elevator, which is nice. We're going to go ahead and switch to Thudley. I think we're going to take damage. Oh. <laughs> yeah. nice. And there we go. So this is where the fourth uh, Pure Heart Pillar is. Yeah. So you know, it works out. ends up working out. Hey, this this pre-Chapter 4 segment is pretty fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast. We like to go fast. We're speedrunners here at Pace 2022. And we like to go fast. And even if we don't go fast, it's okay. We, we support going fast. <laughs> Reminder for everyone to stay hydrated. Drinking water is a good task. But according to one of my friends, Fiji water is the best water. And if he was awake, <laughs> he'd be able to validate that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to go ahead and use the return pipe once again. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go to Chapter 4. And I'm not going to switch to Carrie right now, even though she is faster, because... Oh, spoiler, spoiler alert, we're not going to actually uh, go to Chapter 4 just yet. Oh, I thought we were. Chapter yeah. four. Hey, one. hopefully we don't spawn in space or anything. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> hey, I mean in that would never I mean, happen. I mean, in Paper Mario one and two, Margaret just breathe in space for whatever reason. So surely it wouldn't be a problem in this. Case. Surely it wouldn't be a problem. Why would it be a problem? I don't. I don't. I don't think it's being a problem. Yeah, where's Rosalina exactly? <laughs> uh oh, we can't breathe. Oh. Oh, come on. Yeah, that makes sense. You know, you can breathe underwater in this game, but you know, yeah, that makes sense. The ironic thing is you can't go underwater in the first two Paper Marios, but in this game you can. Yeah. So, you, you nice. know. Nice. What's the deal, guys? <laughs> make it make sense, please. All right. Um, I'm sure this is getting old, but... Uh, yeah, we're gonna... One or two words. Gold bar. Yeah, gold bar. Gold just, bar. Just gold bar. We're just gonna... We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it again. This one doesn't save as much time, but uh, it's still cool. Just fall down there. Nice. Free right, fall. Right next to Merlin's house. There we go. Yeah. Mario does have a skydive. He doesn't need a parachute. He's like a cat. Can land on his legs. So we're telling Merlin that we need a helmet because for some reason we can't breathe in space, despite being able to in the first two Paper Mario games. Exactly. <laughs> why does he? Why can he breathe underwater but not in space? Yeah. How does Mario Galaxy work? Well, maybe it's because he has the. Maybe it's because he has the Luma. You know. Maybe that's why. Maybe. Well, hey, this game's solution to not being able to breathe in space is use a fishbowl. I guess. Well, I think the actual lore JCR is that it was a space helmet used as a fishbowl. Oh, my yeah. sincerest apologies. I can't believe, yeah, don't let it happen again. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, we're gonna go ahead. So basically, uh, the kid is like, oh, well, my fish is getting too big for the bowl anyway, so could you just put it, release him in a place where I can visit him often? Okay, so we eat him. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, whoa, hey. <laughs> no, we don't, we don't eat him. We don't eat him. Um, we just we put him in a pond. And I want to mention, um, we won't be able to see it in this run. He grows to be like twice the size of Mario. Yeah, literally enormous. Like, <laughs> there is like why? A, there's literally a whole lore about this moment, just dropping that fish off into the into the water there. What's the lore? What's your lore? Uh, Please explain. <laughs> well, I mean, if you go there at the end of the game, there's literally dead fish at the bottom of the pond, so, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Seems legit. Yeah. 
All right, so, okay. Guys, the jokes are over. We're entering chapter four. Finally. Now that we have Here we go. a helmet. It's time for yeah. outer space. The best chapter? <laughs> All right, so if we say no multiple times, we game over there, I think. Yeah, as you do. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just go down. And there is an SOS signal right here. We can actually use Tippy to find this little spaceship. Yeah, and um, here's Squirps. And I'm just going to be completely honest, I don't like this character. I don't <laughs> like him. I don't like him for one reason, and I will explain that reason whenever. You, you know the reason, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yes, listen. He might be cute, cuddly, and adorable or something, but there's something about him that we don't know and it's so it's so annoying it <laughs> so anyways he spawns a wormhole he just has that power yeah, you know as you do uh, so as you saw Yoshi do uh, in that first room you're gonna continuously see it all throughout 4-1 uh, he's gonna hop on to carry and it's actually faster to travel uh, using carry through space it's actually uh, Faster in general. Yes, yeah, significant. Yeah, obviously faster in general, but it's very, very much faster uh, than just traveling through space with Mario. Yeah, exactly. And if memory serves me right, we go right three times, and then left, and then right. Yes, this is, uh, you know, if I have to give my two cents, this is the most boring level in the game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's pretty much, you just go through a couple portals, and you're done. So that's it. Exactly. We are going to kill some of these enemies that are in our way. Now, I can get a little bit of a time save that saves a few frames by basically jumping off of carry the same frame as uh, entering the wormhole. I'll have a few chances to go for it. Uh, I didn't get it there. You'll know when I get it because Mar the animation of Mario jumping off of Carrie just won't even happen. So I'll try to get it. Can't promise anything, though, because uh, it is frame perfect. And, you know, we love frame perfect games. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it, it's, a, it's a cool trick. And it, there's really, you know, even if you miss it, there's really no harm in going for it. Because, you know, either you save time or you hop off Carrie and you're right next to the portal anyway. So. Yeah, so it's one of those, like, you know, Risk-free high rewards, or low-risk high rewards, I guess I should say. Mm. Alright. Also, no, the, the the um you'll you'll notice like a couple different portals uh, in that previous room. It really didn't matter. You would be taken to the same room regardless of which portal you entered. The only room that matters is this one. You have to go uh, to the left. So that's really the only significant change. In this level. We're going left. Oh my gosh! In a Mario Ooh. game. Ooh. It's terrifying. You can't go left. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess this isn't 1985. All right, so I unfortunately did not get it. I will have another chance to go for it in uh, Chapter 4-3. But Chapter 4-2 is a very important level. Uh, oh, yeah. This is a recently new, well, not too recent, but like it's a um, new feature that's been added to this game in the past, what, like year or two or something? Yeah. Um, we are going to be doing something called a point grind, which is significantly cooler than the, or the original one we do. And we're going to be getting, hopefully, 200,000 points. Yeah, if we get around 200,000 points, uh, that'll be pretty good. Yeah, but it is not that easy. It is kind of hard, but it's so cool. And it does save time. It's not just like a swag strat. It ends up saving time. So I will ask for a bit of silence so I can try and get it. Uh, the last time I did a bit of a marathon run, I did not get it. So hopefully I can redeem myself at pace and get it. Yep. So right here, Squirps is actually going to you know, leave our party for a little bit. And um, there's, <laughs> there's literally a porta potty in space. And we're just going to yeah, run past it for now. So. Yeah. Also, why don't we have our helmet on? We don't need our helmet now? You know, it makes sense. That's why. You know. That's cool. Oh, so before Yoshi does the 4-2. Okay. Oh, oh, where am I? I, okay. I took it a little safe there. Yeah, so before we get to the 4-2 grind, I'll stay silent while Yoshi's doing it. Um, just to explain what will happen, basically there's tons of enemies called boom boxers. Uh, one room, which you're typically supposed to use a mega star uh, and just clear out the entire room. However, um, it was actually found by 
It was found by Zach, Zach Link 99. But his you may be noticing a theme. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was actually theorized by his brother, who doesn't speed in this game. But uh, it, it's pretty cool to see that you know this is actually a thing we do in runs now. But basically, uh, by chaining jumps using the zero gravity mechanic here, uh, we can actually uh, hit a bunch of boom boxes in a row and get the two hundred. All right, so here we go. So I'm gonna be a little silent. See if I can get this. It's very hard. You'll know when I get it because I'll celebrate. All right. So we, you're going to be seeing me bounce off of a lot of enemies. I knew it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. I knew it. If, if anyone saw me cringe while I was doing that, <laughs> it's because I knew that that exact thing was going to happen. Yep. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what the chances of that happening are. Yeah, it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Basically, um, what Yoshi was hoping to happen is the boom boxer, uh, you would grab the boom boxer's attention, and basically, if it's far enough right on that platform, you can make that jump. It's really, really precise, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, we just didn't get it, but that's okay. That's yeah, okay. There is there is another uh, point grind we can do, which will be just fine. But that one saves a lot of time. What, it saves like 30 seconds or something? Yeah, a decent amount of time because, uh, you know, if you have 200k going into uh, the end of Chapter 2, the 4-4 boss fight gets really fast. Yeah, but you might have seen my face, like, cringe on the stream because I knew that that exact thing was going to happen when I noticed the position on that, uh, yeah. that beatboxer. So that was quite unfortunate. Man, we practiced that. I practiced that like five times. <laughs> of you, course. Yeah, you did well every single time, but you know, hey, only and then, a marathon. And right? Only like as soon as that <laughs> marathon starts, it's like, oh, we're gonna behave weird. And unfortunately, there's like no good way to back it up. I'm gonna go ahead and go to 3D. There's like no good way to back it up. If I would have gotten a little further and gotten like 160,000, then I would have been fine. Because uh, I'd still be able to save time, but unfortunately, that is not what happened. So, rip. Time save an extra. <laughs> yep, that's all good. The run's not over yet. We can still uh, use the original point grab method, which uh, is in 5 2. So, we'll get there in a little bit. Yeah, you, you might sense a theme. 5 2 had a point grind, 4 2 had a point grind. <laughs> you know. Oh, yeah. I, we completely forgot to mention in that. Uh, at the very end of that room, there was an old man uh, that was just, you know, uh, asking us to purchase an item for like a thousand coins and a hundred coins. Uh, we have to, we can actually purchase, I believe it's called the ancient something. I don't actually The know ancient that. something, yeah. Yeah, 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 close enough. But um, yeah, we can purchase that item for ten coins. However, we need to say no uh, two times in a row because they'll ask, you know, do we want to purchase it for a thousand coins, then a hundred coins, and then ten coins. Uh, if you accidentally say yes there, you will literally have to get a hundred coins and it loses a lot of time. But the kicker is, if you say no to the last one, then you also have you to pay a hundred. You also <laughs> have to pay a hundred. It's a, it's a one-time offer. Yeah. You'll offer it once. So Squirps can finally use the restroom. And now we've got Fleep, another partner that's not skippable, but is useful for a few tricks. Oh yeah. I want to mention, anyone that falls down there is the worst, it's the worst experience ever. Because yeah. that is just a pit that has nothing beneficial in it. Yeah, it is. there's absolutely nothing there. There's, I think there's literally one enemy, uh, and you have to flip in 3D to get back up. So that's cool. Yeah, we didn't do that though, so not the best 4-2 unfortunately because I missed that point grind. Man, I'm still like, man, you had to do you had to do me dirty like that. <laughs> Boo beatboxer or whatever you're called. Alright, but we got the end of 4-2, and now 4-3 is boring, so. Yeah, 4-3 were in the same style format as 4-1. Uh, there's a little bit more to do, but still, it's, you know. Remind, us, remind me to save before 5-2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll try to, yeah. Yeah, because I've been not saving because, you know, famous last words, but I don't see myself losing the run anytime soon. But 5-2 is a place where I could definitely lose the run. 5-2, uh, absolutely. Now that we need to go in. Yeah. So, these things are very... What are these even called? <laughs> I... 
Yeah, there you go. Jellyfish. No, no, not not the, not those. The spinning platform. Oh, the spinning. I, I actually have no idea. Um, <laughs> I hear a bunch of voices. I don't know what they're saying though. <laughs> Rectangles. There rectangles. You there you go. Yeah, those are the rectangles that can hurt you. Those, we'll just go with that. Yeah, they will damage you. I'm sure someone in the chat will correct us. Who knows? Mm. I can kind of see the chat. I can't really, though. Also, uh, at the beginning of this level, you might have noticed Yoshi collected a shooting star. Uh, that is a pretty important item that we're going to be using all the way in Chapter 7. So important that I need to remember when I do the next gold bar clip to input down. Yes. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please do not use it. <laughs> or else I will use that shooting star, and I will be very sad. <laughs> so we're unlocking the second door here. Uh, and instead of putting Squirps in the door just like the first one, we're actually uh, just going to switch to carry and go straight past it. Uh, it's a little... I don't know if it's like... I think. Oh, there we go. I got it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> so yeah, you might have seen that uh, Mario immediately got off of, uh, of carry as entering the portal. Yep. It was very quick. It saves like what four frames? Not four frames, like I like a frame, or something like that. I think it saves a. I think it saves like point three seconds. So however many frames that is. Oh come on, go away. Anyways, what, what were you saying? You were you were still talking oh, when I mentioned that. Yeah, I don't know. I was just explaining. The whole thing. It's you know we're we're already there, but basically the whole point of that was to take uh, Squirps with us, uh, and that's just to shoot out some blocks as you see there. It just just makes the level easier. Welcome to your local gas station, or like 7-Eleven space gas station. Yeah, this guy has been trapped here for his entire life. This is his first and last visitor. Uh, say hello and say goodbye. Yeah, so now we, we got a sweet uh, chocolate bar. Uh, that's going to be important. Chocolate's pretty good. I like chocolate. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I have some Reese's peanut butter cups, you know, back in my hotel. <laughs> yeah. They're pretty good. All right, so, yeah, unfortunately, Squirps is literally the only, the only one who can unlock the gate to where he lives. So it's like, you know, oh, hey, I got it again. There we go. Nice. Um, and for some reason, there's two. And in order for, um, in order for Squirps to, I guess, like, be able to go home and for us to go to his home, we have to feed him a chocolate bar. So he has a sugar rush and clones himself. Like, imagine if you can clone yourself a chocolate. Like, how useful would that be? That would be cool. Also, something about that menu <laughs> that you just saw there, if you give Squirps any other item than the chocolate bar, uh, he will toss it away and you will never be able to collect it again. You will never see it again. Yeah, just completely ruthless. Yeah. So, now we can go home, and I just want to mention that currently the time is 1.41. At this point, this is when a Paper Mario Any% percent run would finish. So, you know, about four chapters in, we've technically finished a Paper Mario Any% percent run, but this is Super Paper Mario, not, not Paper Mario 64. It's arguably better because Paper Mario 64 has so much RNG. <laughs> RNG. <laughs> Thankfully, something I haven't mentioned about this run is this run barely has any RNG, which is so great. You know, I'll get into it, like, you know, during the end of the run, but this game is really, really beginner-friendly for anyone with a speed run. But it is quite a long speed run, so you need to clear your schedule. You need to, like, go to your school, go to your boss, and just be like, hey, I want a speed run. And I'll be like, okay. Surely that'll work. Yeah. So, welcome to the Woe Zone. So, the woe zone. This is this is one of the craziest levels in the game. Uh, it's really fun. You travel on walls, on ceilings, there's doors in 3D. You travel uh, everywhere. Yeah, there, there's a bunch of cool different things about this level. And uh, we're actually going to be doing two really cool chest skips here. Um, it was actually found by John P55. Oh, it wasn't found by Zach? No, this one was found by John. Oh, Big finally. shout out to John. John's actually currently working on uh, the any percent, uh, an updated any percent task for this game. You know he's going to kill you later, right? Be it, why? Because, you know, he's been taking his time and people have been bothering him about needing to continue it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, apologies, man. My apologies. Don't bother John. Okay. I don't, I don't want to take damage. Cause, so I'm purposely draining my 3D meter because I want to 
basically drain it as low as I can and not take any damage. If I take any damage, it will reset. I don't like where that current thing is. Oh, that's not... All right, whatever. The cool thing is by killing those guys, we get a lot of coins. We don't need all those coins. We actually have way more than enough coins than we need. Um, but hey, you can't go wrong with too much money. Yep. So as Yoshi's doing here, basically by draining the 3D meter, um, we're going to be jumping into a chest. Uh, we're, it's basically we do a thudly jump, uh, and then while we're in 3D, we jump towards a chest, take damage, and then we will be able to open the chest that's in the middle. All right. It's actually a little different on the English version for some reason, but it shouldn't throw me off too much, so let's see if I can get it. There we go. Nice. Just grab the key right up there. Very nice. There we go. Alrighty. And that saves like what? Like a minute yeah, and a that, half? Not a minute and a half, like a minute ten or so. That one in particular, yeah. That one saves like a minute, minute ten. Um, there is a lot of stuff that we just skipped. Uh, this level is very, very long. Uh, and we're actually going to be doing one more of those coming up here. It doesn't save as much time. Um, it saves like 10 seconds, 10, 15 seconds? Yeah, but it, obviously, you know, hey, it's time save. Time save. Got to save all that time. Oh. I know. I'm not going to be able to get it. Nah, that's unfortunate. Almost. OK. Uh, you can actually jump off that enemy and hit the switch. But uh, unfortunately, I was. Uh, you know, not in the, the, it was not in the best position, so, unfortunate. All right, we're just going to go ahead and flip right here. It is actually faster to do this than, uh, than go all the way around and then all the way back around. So we're just going to wait. We're going to do the same thing. Let's just wait. Oh, I did that pretty early. I still got it, though. There we go. There we go. So yeah, that one's not as hard. The other one's a little harder because you have to do a thuddly jump, obviously. But, you know, it's all good. Oh, maybe I can get this. Yeah, you can. Oh, oh there we go. Nice. nice. Yep. That one. Oh, I even got the door nice. skip. Nice. That's cool. Yeah, all so right. if, a, if a door is off screen and you enter it, you can actually Bowser. completely skip the door animation there. So that's a really nice time save. Yeah. So we're going to have to switch to Bowser because normally I'd actually do this fight with Mario, but normally at this point in the game, I would be at 200,000, at least on a good run. Um, so we're not, and this fight's going to be a little more tedious without the extra damage, but we will make do. Hey, who's this guy? Wait. Who is he? He looks a little a familiar. Minute. Hang on. Do you guys in the chat know who he is? Who, who no, is he? No, 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 no. It's not Luigi. It's that's, not Luigi. That's not Luigi. Nah, not at all. No. Green light. So we're just going to... Oh, okay, you. All right, we're just going to keep jumping on him. Just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. There we go. We did it. That's not the only part, though. We, we, have, we have to... I don't know. I'm trying to ask you guys. <laughs> it's Waluigi, someone said. It's Waluigi. Oh, my gosh. It must be Waluigi. So welcome to Brobot. This fight is a bit harder because we're underleveled and we can't damage him without getting the candy. Um, normally, when we have 200k, we can immediately damage him, but we don't. So I have to be a bit careful with uh, these. I'm going to be grabbing basically every candy bar I can get. All right, I need to be careful. We'll get this. Oh okay, okay, okay. That was a little scary. <laughs> if I missed that, then it just would have been kind of GG. Yeah, because we're under level two, we need that red. Oh gosh, it's off screen. It trolled me. Oh gosh. Okay. Get the shield. As get the shield. Get the shield. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right, all right. You should be good now. You should be good. Kill him. Kill him. And there we go. Nice. <laughs> and a level up. Yay. Level up. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, was just, it was just robot. <laughs> it was all an illusion. All right, I just realized, uh, JCR, can you, did my attack increase or was that my HP? That was, that was the HP. Okay, yeah. good, hopefully. Yeah, that, that's HP, 60 was attack, so. All right, you guys ready to hear why I don't like squirps? <laughs> you ready? He had the pure heart the entire time. 
and just didn't trust us. Oh. He didn't that? trust us. Yeah. Like, what's the actual lore of it, like about it? If you I, remember, I don't remember. Don't remember. Yeah, I don't casually play this game that much anymore. We, so I don't remember. We need Flash here. Flash is my lore game. Flash, are you in the chat? Tell us. <laughs> But yeah, so we're we're currently working and theorizing on beat up Scorps for the for the for the, for the pure heart. Just coming soon to an any percent run near you, or we beat up Scorps for the pure heart. <laughs> so yeah, Luigi is, or wait, not Luigi. This is Mr. Yeah. L. It's a wall. Luigi is what I there meant. You go. Yeah, much better. much better. Much better. Yeah. So you know. Basically, he is on Count Black's side. We didn't really know that, but he is. We got a lot of characters here. We got, you know, Mimi, you know, Dementio, Blick. Who's your favorite, JCR? Oh, my favorite, like, uh, mini boss? No, like, your favorite, like, you know, villain here. Oh, villain here? I like O-Chunks. I'm an O-Chunks guy. You're an O-Chunks guy? Yep. Nice. <laughs> I know a lot of people like Mimi. For some reason, even though she's a spider. Yeah, yeah people like Mimi. Tons and tons of Dementio fans out there as well. Oh yeah, Dementio. Like, I can't think of one person that actually does not like Dementio, except for speedrunners who have to deal with his RNG. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Oh boy. I don't know if we've gotten any more recent donations, if you uh, happen to check. Uh, no, it does not look like we have. However, if you would like to donate, or you're interested in donating, uh, all donations are going directly to benefiting Urban Arts, uh, which donate, is people. a great foundation. And we have certain incentives that you can donate for. If you put in uh, $25, you can enter into the Nintendo Switch giveaway, which you can win a Nintendo Switch. Yeah, amazing Nintendo Switch. So something happened to Tippy. What happened, what happened to Tippy? Something, something bad. So Tippy's not doing the best, so she needs to rest for a bit. We're, we're gonna go ahead and let Tippy rest, and we're gonna go ahead and find the next pure heart pillar. Well, the next pure heart pillar is actually in a very interesting location. Uh, this location is actually called Flop side. There's a flip side and a flop side. All right, I need to make sure I input down. I need to make sure I input down. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna do another gold bar clip. I know it's probably getting old, but this is how you go fast. More and more gold bar clipping. So with care, we can actually walk across the seam and I need to be a little careful and we're going to scooch just a little bit in. And then there we go. And that allows us to skip using Boomer. And we're actually going to do another carry skip right here. Or not carry skip. We're going to do another one. Oops. We're going to go ahead and do another gold bar clip. All right, that was good RNG. And just kind of clip through the wall. And now we can get the flip side. And we just skipped having to do that puzzle. That puzzle was hard anyways. Like you, yeah. had, to hit, you had to hit every block. Yeah. I don't want to hit every block. What, who yeah. wants to do that? That's gold bar clipping is better. Yeah. All right. So what the flop side? Instead of flipping, we flop. Everybody do the flop. Don't actually, you don't want to hurt yourself. So, here's a question. We're in flop side. So what do you think the characters' names are? Like, like, who, who, like what do you think? I'm not sure. All right, we're actually going to the shop for the first time. We want to make sure that this time we sell the HP Plus. Yep. Those are 400 coins, and we're actually going to be purchasing two items here. Uh, well, actually, two of the same item. We're going to be purchasing two Mighty Tonics. Yeah, we're buying two items, but we're buying the same. So you might be thinking to yourself, why do we need this many coins? Well, it's funny. The main reason we get this many coins is actually to unlock the shortcut between flip side and flop side. It's actually faster. Yeah, it is absolutely faster. Basically, at the end of this room, there's a guy named Welderberg, and you can pay him 300 coins to build a pipe uh, directly from this level in flop side and this level in flip side. Uh, so we will be using that blue pipe during every pre-chapter cutscene that we possibly can. You can also do the same in the pits as well. Like, uh, but we're not going to the pit. This isn't the pit of 100 trials run. 
Oh, by the way, I want to mention something. There are people that think it's faster to go down to the pit and get Dashiell because Dashiell's faster than carry, but it's not. The pit takes about what, like 45 it's, it's minutes? On average, 40 minutes. Like, like about 40, 45 minutes. 40 minutes. This kid's also <laughs> can kind of be a troll, so I'm just gonna wait. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, and you're saving like maybe like what? A, a minute or something? <laughs> yeah, it, it is like every, trust me on this, just every calculation has been done. Uh, unfortunately, unless there is a way, you know, that we don't know about, if we could skip the pit and get Dashiell, absolutely that would save time. But unfortunately, we are unable to do that yet. That's all I mentioned. How's everyone feeling? It's 1.46 in the morning. How's everyone feeling? How are you doing? You guys are very alive for, uh, for be it being 1.46 in the morning. I'm very wide awake because, you know, I had to stay up for 37 hours getting here. A little story time while we're in the intermission. My flight got delayed, and as such, I was going to miss my connecting flight. So I got rebooked on the only available flight, which was leaving at 5 p.m. in my time zone and getting here at 10 p.m. the next day. I traveled from North California to L.A. to New York to Baltimore. <laughs> I went everywhere but my location, <laughs> and that was 14 hours of travel. Well, that sounds wonderful. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I have two friends that drove from Col <laughs> or not Colorado, um, they drove from Syracuse to get here. Yeah, so we do got some New Yorkers here. Okay, yeah, true. New York, Syracuse, not New York City. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go Australia! All right, Australia. We got people from everywhere. We got people from Spain, people from Britain, Australia, across the country, across the state, across the continents. And the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, here we are in chapter five. Uh, I need to remember to save after this section. Um, so, chapter five, how, how do we even explain chapter five? Yeah, chapter five, is, uh, chapter five is interesting. Currently, we are about to fall, as you see there. Uh, we're Yay, gonna falling. We're going to fall right into what's known as the land of crag, or the crag land. Um, and these are crags, as you can see. They love to just say crag uh, every message. Uh, it's actually some pretty funny quotes from this chapter. Uh, but yeah, the, so the first two levels, 5-1, 5-2, start out in this land, and we'll eventually travel to the Florosapien Caverns. Uh, we'll learn more about that later. I've got to hand it to them for literally picking up Mario without any arms. Like, what, they use their heads? <laughs> well, I guess they don't, they don't lie when they say just use your head if you can't solve a problem. I think I see, yeah, I see Flash in the chat, and Castle, Cragly Ho. Hey, you guys can't say that yet. Hey, hey, hey spoilers. We're not there. We're not there yet. You gotta be <laughs> quiet. The chat cannot contain themselves. Yeah, they really can't. How many people do you have watching the stream out of curiosity? Because you know, as uh, share around with the event. I know it's very early or very late. Hey, it's a great time to be awake. I'm not exactly sure. I can I can check. That out. You don't have to. Four hundred. Thank you. Four hundred. Anyways, um, all the cracks are getting uh, kidnapped. And there they go. Alright, so um, this level is very well known for the block puzzles. There's one block puzzle that's, you know, what? Uh, left, right, middle? Yeah, yeah, left, right, middle. Yeah, we can actually see it at the end of this room. Yeah, yeah but, um, you know, JCR, I currently see you pulling out your phone. Yeah, so when you get the chance, yeah. <laughs> would, you, would you like to explain to everyone, also there is a bit of a jump here that I did not make at all, but it's okay because I will make it right there. Um, so left, right, middle. So there's another block puzzle. JCR, what's, what's the next one? Well, if, uh, you know... <laughs> if my internet would work, I can tell you. <laughs> no. Hang on, hang on. Please. All right. Here, actually, I, I got it for you. So the the next one that we're going to see here is middle, right, left, left, right, middle, right, left, right, right, middle, right, right, left, middle, middle, left, 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 right, left, 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 middle, middle. That's it. There you go. Or we could just do this. I prefer gold bar clipping. Bye. 
Yeah. There we go. That, All right. <laughs> that code is this. that code is so long it is literally faster. Just, just get it. All right. I need to save. I'm gonna only oh, yeah, match save, two. Save, I'm gonna. Save, okay. Save. So here is the point grind that we usually do in runs. It's not that hard. But the thing that could actually kill me is an item draw that happens way too often. Uh, so just to remember, it's two full bounces, four small bounces, or three small with one big one, and then two full bounces, and then... I believe so, yeah. All right, yeah, I got this. I got this. All right, so let's just go ahead and have like a little bit of concentration. Oh, I hope I don't take damage here. I don't think I will. All right, so here's the point grind. Please. You got it. Okay. All right, so I'm going to be doing this for a bit, so it's not over yet. So there we go. Nice. So that's the point grind. And as you can see, I've got 219,000 points. Very nice. So do you want to explain kind of how that works? Like what is exactly happening with that? Yeah, so similar to the 4-2 grind, which we explained earlier, this is basically the original uh, grind method that we had in any percent runs from a long time ago uh, before the 4-2 grind was found. And it essentially, as you can see there, we basically kill two poisonous piranha plants. Uh, we kill one squog, and then we basically use the squog properties where they shoot coconuts over and over again, and we can continuously uh, gain, like, 1,800 points every time that we jump off a coconut. And it just gradually increases over time, uh, which basically will get us to around 220k. Yeah, so that's what we were trying to do. Oh, what the heck? I didn't even... I tried to switch. Um, so I was trying to basically do that in the other level, basically chain um, the points, because the, the more, amount of, the more uh, enemies you stomp, the bigger Mars points are, like the chain is. That's what I was trying to do, but I didn't do it at first. But thankfully, that one is pretty consistent for the most part. And we get to use Bowser's fire to get, oh, what do you know? The fire stone. All right. So this level is thankfully not too difficult. The difficult part being the point grind, which we already got through. Um, so. We're gonna go ahead and continue to this level. We are gonna get one more item real quickly. Also, shout out to Slop Dop. Slops uh, is a community member. He used to run this game, doesn't run it much anymore, but his icon is a clubba, so he sleeps a lot, you know. All right, so we got another Mighty Talk. Mighty Talks are used for uh, the end game bosses because what do they do, JCR? Well, anytime you use a Mighty Tonic, you get double your attack power. Speaking of double my attack power, let's just switch to Bowser. Or, I'm sorry, Jack Black. <laughs> Gotta love Jack Black. Yeah, so O-Chunks just pops in here, and uh, he wants to fight, and we're all good, but, you know, Dementio shows up and says, you know, let's, eh, let's make it a little more interesting. So then we are teleported to... Whatever the heck this place is called. Yeah, this. Oh, the back rooms. Yeah, that's it. Actually, that means he's dead. All right. So one, two, three, four. All right. There goes Chunks. There we go. Yeah, so that is the benefit of uh, doing the point grind. Whether it's in 4-2 or 5-2, uh, we are able to take out late game bosses much easier, much quicker. So uh, it is very, very helpful. Yeah, so we're thankfully no longer over uh, or under leveled. Uh, the final level we will get to is about 300k, which thankfully gradually throughout the course of the run, we will slowly but surely get there. So it works out. It works out in the end. 
All right, by the way, welcome to the only Yoshi in this game, this stone Yoshi. That is the only, well, besides one more, which is a Yoshi card that we're not gonna get, but this is basically the only Yoshi we see in this game. Shouts out. Yeah, also shouts to Flash. Stone Buzzy Beetle's his profile. Well, I don't know if it is anymore. It still is. Okay, good, good. I think Flash is in the chat, so you know. We love you, Flash. Love you, Flash. We miss you. All right, so we're just gonna go all the way up here. By the way, apparently you get up these by going into 3D. I'm, I never did that when I casually played this game. You're supposed to like go into 3D and you jump through these cracks, but I just did essentially what I just did, albeit slower. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put the water tablet there, the stone tablet there, and the fire tablet there. And basically, we're getting another, another pixel that is not skippable. This is this is a uh, Kudge, and Kudge just needs to let out a word. So naturally, we're just gonna have them um, scream. So here, we, we, let's let's all do it together. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Ah! Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's scared. <laughs> and now we got Kudge. So this is actually the second to last pixel partner we're gonna be getting. Um, we only get one more. Yep, and Kudge, as you see there, yeah, basically is Mario's hammer. Yeah. Stop, hammer time. <laughs> but we're gonna switch immediately back to Carrie because Carrie is faster. That is true, and we are out of the Craglands and heading into the Floral Sapient Cat. Yeah. This level doesn't have a whole lot of skips. It has one thing um, that I can do. Well, actually about two things um, involving, well, there's one thing involving Fleep, one thing involving Peach um, that we will be doing. So that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through here. And coming up is the reason why Cragly Ho is, um, here he is. is very famous. You might have noticed right there, I delayed my text box. It's actually faster to delay your text box a little bit. Because when Mario is moving there, if you just mash as fast as you can, then it will take a bit for the next text box to show up. So, what does Kragly want us to do, JCR? Oh, uh, well, he has a, uh, a cameraman and a microphone guy. We have to go find him. Yep. He makes us do his dirty work. We have to go find his camera crew. Yeah, supposedly there's, you know, there's a key to the end of the level. Uh, supposedly one of them has it, so hopefully we find it. Also, not many people know this, but this layout right here is based off of 1-2, uh, I'm sorry, 2-1 in Super Mario Bros. Can't really see it that much because, uh, while well, I'm flipping into 3D, but uh, it is a little Easter egg in this game. You know, Mario games always have their little Easter eggs. I guess we never mentioned this before, or if we did, it was very brief. Uh, it is faster to get these fast flowers because, uh, well, they make you go fast. And since when is going fast a bad thing? <laughs> well, maybe if you're on like the road, going fast is a bad thing. Yeah, yeah okay, maybe, yeah. you know. <laughs> Welcome to another, another little break. I can stretch my hands, I can, you know, yep. see that we're about halfway through this run. So, it's something interesting to note about this game. As you notice, I mean, there's so much text yet. You really don't get too much downtime. Uh, really, the biggest it's downtime. It's also a jam. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the biggest downtime that you get in this run are the pure heart cutscenes and this. This is a 35 second minecart cutscene that we see two times. There are people who have managed to go to the bathroom during this time in the speed run and have made it back yep. without losing time. Myself and I am one. I am those, one of those yep. people who yep. has done that. All right, so do you want to explain Fleep Ledge Clip right here coming up? Yeah, so Fleep Ledge cancels. Uh, basically, what we're going to do here, you're going to see Yoshi uh, flip into 3D and go to the very edge of this ledge. And you'll notice that Shadow uh, Mario, OK, well, you know, there you go. Uh, Mario's shadow pretty much disappears. And by using Fleep and holding up, we can actually interact with objects or characters, uh, maybe even doors that are halfway across the room, either in front of us or behind us. Uh, we can also pick up items. We can just do. 
so many cool things by canceling. Uh, usually, when you press one while standing on solid down, ground in 3D, you'll just uh, you'll flip back into 2D, and Fleep's ability will activate. But we're skipping Fleep's ability, which allows us to interact with uh, uh, things in the room. Yeah, it's just time to check my social media, see everyone comp. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but yeah. Everyone in the audience right now is a trooper for staying up. I know it's kind of shortened a little bit, but it's okay. It's okay. I see one person passed out on that bean, or on that beanbag chair. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> How are you doing, JCR? How are you doing this fine, you know? <laughs> I'm doing great. Fine uh, evening, morning. Yeah, pretty much. I'm doing great. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, JCR. Fun fact was not gonna make it at first, yeah. but he yeah. tricked me. It was like a bit of a I did, I did a bit of, did a bit of, <laughs> did a bit of, a little bit of trolling, ha ha, funny, <laughs> funny moment. Yeah, I really didn't know if I was gonna make it here. Um, I didn't want Yoshi to fully depend on me and then I have to drop out at the last second, but it turns out in the end, I was able to make it, so. Yeah, so there's something important I think I have to do here, but I can't remember. It's Oh, hit the A button! The A button! Okay. There are so many runners who have forgotten to hit A, and it costs them so much time because they have to ride the minecart all the way back. Yeah, that, and yeah. If you stay in 2D, that pipe at the end there, um, it pretty much leads to a meaningless room. You have to ride the minecart back, and then back. It's big time loss. Not fun at all. I have not actually uh, forgotten to do that. I thankfully have a good memory. Um, and I've not forgotten about that. I mean, it's not even about having a bad memory. It's just sometimes you forget and sometimes you get distracted. Have you unfortunately forgotten? Actually, I have not. I don't Let's think go. I have. Two people. Oh, yeah, I guess we never mentioned this, but Mark just can't climb on air. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> I see Flash talking about something in the chat. <laughs> he says, My first like 10 runs, I forgot they hit the A button. Oh, Let's no. go. Shuts up. It's okay, Flash. You're still great. Yeah, this is uh, actually the last time we will hear this tune. Uh, there is one more minecart, but we're going to actually be skipping it with a little bit of a... We're going to be using Peach. We're actually going to be using Peach for once. Yes. I know, right? We're going to use Peach. He's Let's actually go. useful here. Let's go, Peach. But hear me out. Rosalina is better. <laughs> Any Rosalina fans? Yeah! <laughs> and then there's Daisy. You know, Daisy doesn't get kidnapped. <laughs> Alright, so... Thankfully right here, I can actually take a little bit of my time because there is a platform cycle that we cannot, you know, that we have to wait for. So, I'm just gonna wait, and there we go. And we did find... The camera guy and the boom mic guy, you know. So we're good. Hopefully we're one good. of them has the key, right? Yeah. Hopefully one of them. Right. We're just going to keep mashing one and two. Yeah, I guess quick tutorial for anyone that wants to mash like me. So what you do is you put your thumbs over one and two, and then you shake the heck out of your right hand. You just vibrate it. And then, yeah, I mash like that. Oh, wow. So Cragley had the key the entire time. Cool. Cool. Awesome. We should beat him up now for the key. <laughs> that is a uh, repeating theme all throughout this game. Exactly. All right, we're going to go ahead and switch to Peach. We'll get Peach the spotlight. Actually, I probably should have done that a little later. Okay, never mind. We're good. <laughs> I was afraid I was going to use the parasol, like, going down there. So this doesn't save that much time. It saves, like, maybe about three seconds or so. Uh, but it is pretty cool. We're going to skip the mine card. So if you want your downtime, then don't do this trick. But if you don't mind, then uh, just go ahead and float. And we can actually continue that speed right here. Go on the loops. There's one, there's two, and then one more. Nice. And there we go. And then we will just go right here, and we'll be able to get on carry and just make it up there. If you actually fall too low, Oh, what the I don't even know how I, what I did there. <laughs> if you fall just a little too low, then um, you will unfortunately um, not be able to get back up. And it's very annoying. Or you can get up, but it's just you'll lose a lot of time. 
we're gonna use Kudge again. And real quickly, I'm actually going to switch to Slim. We're switching to Slim. What do you think we're gonna do in the next level? Uh-oh, it's time for some more gold bar clipping. I know. Just a consistent theme. I know. I just wanna mention though, for anyone who uh, doesn't know this, um, this run used to be a lot harder without the gold bar clips. Uh, we used to have to do a lot of Thudley jumping, which yes. is frame perfect. Yes. But and then the gold bar clip cut most of them out. Yeah, it cut, it cut a lot of Thudley jumps out, which is pretty cool. Uh, this, this level in particular has had a very lengthy a history. big history, yeah. Very big history. Um, so, you know, I, I have to mention it. I mean, uh, you know, big shout outs to John. John found this next trick and pretty much dedicated, like, I, I don't know exactly how long, a, a very long portion of his life to this room that you're going to see right here. <laughs> a long right. portion of his life, oh good lord. Yeah, so this scanner room right here, normally you cannot get past it without getting the, the floral sprout that you see on that uh, rag. I'll go down one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but essentially, what we can do now, uh, this trick's gone through a couple iterations, but what we can do now is do an FLC, uh, or a Fleet Ledge Cancel. So Yoshi is going to use the Mighty Tonic. That's okay. Right. That's okay. That's I love how I said, hey, press down, and I just didn't. That's okay. That's just going to cause a little bit of time loss later on. That's all right. All right. Nope. nope. Not yet. Man, press down. I even said it right there, and I just <laughs> didn't do it. There we nice. go. Nice. There we go. Yeah, so by clipping out of bounds there, we can actually do a fleet ledge cancel because we're on the edge there. And by holding up really, really fast, we can actually open and enter that door. Uh, and we can just completely skip the scanner. Uh, there was another version of that trick that was initially found with a gold bar clip in the scanner. It was really, really difficult, uh, but it ended up being RTA viable. But that's the uh, newest and currently fastest method. Man, I can't believe I used that, but whatever. No, it's all good. Alright, we're gonna do another gold bar clip here. And this one's a little finicky, that's not the right pixel. It's gonna be a little close. Oh gosh. Okay, let's see if I can get this. Okay. Nice. Let's see if I can get this. There we go. Nice. So I fall out of bounds, and then I spawn right back up here. Cool. <laughs> there you go. There we go. All right, so not too bad besides the fact that I used a Mighty Tonic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But um, that shouldn't lose too much time. Uh, it just means I have to hit uh, Dementio later in Chapter 8 a bit more, I think. Probably cost like 30 seconds or something. If I get good RNG, that is. <laughs> Yoshi is going to use the Mighty Tonic. <laughs> nice. Cool. If I had enough coins, maybe I'd just buy another one. Yeah, you could. I only, I only have 40, though. This is King Crocus. Want to explain the lore of King Crocus? Um, I actually don't know the lore of King Crocus. But, uh, you know, King Crocus basically is the chapter boss of Chapter 5. Uh, and the whole storyline that we've seen, actually, uh, between the... The crags and the, uh, the Floro Sapiens, uh, which we'll see after this boss fight. Uh, you can see Yoshi pretty much using the strat with Bowser. I meant to. Okay, this is going to be a bit interesting. I meant to okay. Fudley. You can say. That's all right. Nice. There we go. Good backup. So, cool. yeah, I meant to Fudley there, but my one just didn't work. So, not that bad. Um, Again, biggest chokes were using that my tonic and just kind of messing that up, but that was okay. Um, I believe the lore with King Crocus is um, the crags that were polluting the water, yes, and they the, and they drink it, and that's what they like, you know, because um, they're flowers. Yes, they were throwing trash in the water. I'm pretty sure, like you could see in 5-1, there there's like a little river. They were throwing trash into it, uh, and they come to a whole agreement here, basically, just agreeing that. You know, if the pollution of the water stops, you know, there, there could be peace. So they make a little peace treaty, and that's how this chapter ends. After we beat up their boss. Yeah, you know, as you do. And you can actually go here in post-game, and you can you can go back into 5-1, and I'm pretty sure one of the uh, 
the crag villagers literally tells you that he's still throwing trash into the water, which is uh, pretty cool. No, no. Absolutely not. <laughs> we got another pure heart. The sixth one. Six out of eight. Let's go six out of eight. We're like, we're going through this for two hours and 17 minutes. Let's go. End of chapter. So, you know, Mari, I can't read all that that fast. I wish I could read that fast. <laughs> oh, yeah, and, oops, I saved. I guess we're saving. Uh, and we got uh, well, Dottie. We got Dottie. Dottie. Yeah, Dottie. The last pixel of the run. Yep, the final pixel. That we will use a total of two times. I think it's literally like two or, yeah, two or one times, something like that. Yeah. Well, we technically use the ability twice, but in terms yeah. of sections, yeah, we right. only use her in one section. Yep. And if we really, really wanted to, the funny part about this in that room, we could actually just gold bar flip through it two times. But it's slower. <laughs> so we slower, <laughs> you know. But hey. Yeah, let's just gold bar clip. Oh my gosh. Come on, guys. We need only 10 more dollars to get 4,500. I know we could do it. Everyone in chat, just, or no, not even everyone. Just 10 people donate $1 and we'll be great. It will make my day. Me too. All right, so we got another like bit of a lengthy cutscene. Um, but we speaking of cutscenes, you know, we got another cutscene that's not that long. But um, I guess I'll ask again. Do you like gold bar clipping? I love gold bar clipping. <laughs> We're gonna do it again. again. Yep. So this is actually a pretty significant gold bar clip that we're gonna do here. Uh, this is called Merlin cutscene skip. Uh, normally. During this portion of the game, if you go, you know, you take the elevator down, there's a very lengthy Merlin cutscene that you have to go through. However, uh, if we do a gold bar clip here, as you see Yoshi doing, uh, we can actually skip all of that. We can actually skip two, uh, a cutscene with Merlin and uh, the, uh, I believe it's Norlin, I think. Norlin, yeah. Norlin, yeah, yeah. And then just fall down there. Nice. There we go. Let's go. Just skip that. We used to have to do like six Thudleys up yep, there. I remember that. that was... And it would only save like 10 seconds, but with that it saves more like 15 seconds. All right, so essentially everything in flop side is mirrored from flip side. So like, um, you know, we were, um, like the, the pillars were in certain locations in flip side. They're in the exact same locations, just opposite of flop side. Yeah, so like just mirrored. You know, we're, we're going to the chapter six pillar right now, and that's at the same location of flip side's chapter two pillar. Yeah, basically. And you might be thinking, wait, Yoshi, you have to use Dottie right here. What are you talking about? You only have to use her one time. What are you talking about? Well, uh... Cool. <laughs> cool, you know? Cool, yeah, if you, if you hold... Uh, up left, right in that corner, you can just uh, jump on that with carry. And yeah, there we go. Pretty good. So now we're going to be entering chapter six, and chapter six is 10 minutes of just the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's just fight <laughs> after fight after fight after fight. There are, cool, there are some cool strats, but it's basically the same thing. So. JCR is going to look at chat, and we're going to use kind of this opportunity for the chat to ask any questions about the run that maybe you want to know. Any questions, and we'll answer. Yep. Maybe or maybe donate. You know, that'd be great. That too. Remember, it's for a great cause. Um, because there's, I could go on about you know whatever, but really, it's just going to be like, so how was your day? Hope your day was good. You know. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, we'll keep trying. So if anyone has any questions, it doesn't even have to be about the run. It can just be about anything. Uh, go ahead and put them in chat, and it'll uh, give us something to talk about. Even in the audience. Sense. Here, let's start off the audience. Audience, do you have any questions? Do I like this game? Nope. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, I very much do like this game. Okay, so real quick, I'll, I'll get to our uh, I'll get to our first question. Okay, go for it. Uh, Shisley asks, what is your favorite part of the run? Favorite part of the run? Honestly, I really love, you know, it's funny. This is like the, one of the most infamous, well not infamous, but just like chapter seven is considered like one of the hardest chapters. But I personally do like it in the run because it's just kind of building up to that segment of the run. And chapter seven just has so many cool tricks. 
including the dreaded Peach Skip, which you will see later. Yeah, actually, the Peach Skip, uh, <laughs> ironically, is my favorite part of the game. Uh, it was like the first trick, first big trick I learned in this game, so it's pretty cool. Uh, we got a couple more questions here. Real quickly, uh, yeah, yeah, just ahead. to ask you a question, it's jump with Mario and then fire with Bowser, correct? Yeah, jump, one jump with Mario, switch to Bowser, fire twice. That's it. Yeah, it's a strat that I've never done, but I just saw him do it. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Uh, it's Mr. Reed asks, what is your favorite kind of bridge? Favorite kind of bridge? Definitely not a green bridge. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, we are red, <laughs> red bridge people. So. Uh, oh, I should have gone on carry there. Yeah, it's all good. Yes, that is true. Uh, spoiler alert, we don't need to fight all 100. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, so oh, hey, we hit 4,500. Hey. Hey. Here we go. Yeah, I, I heard. I, yeah, I heard. That's why. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep, so we have $10 from Joker Factor. I am currently in the crowd, but I heard this would make Yoshi's day. Thank you, Joker Yay. Factor. <laughs> Thank you. Here, I don't know if you can see him on the camera. He's right there. Yeah, you can. You can see them. All right, but yeah, continue with the questions. Sure. It's, it's going to be a lot of the same thing. Yep, so we have uh, John P55 asking, what is your favorite potential sequence break? Potential sequence break? I'm trying to think of the potential sequence breaks that, like, the only potential sequence break I can think of is the one where we could skip directly to chapter 8, and personally, <laughs> I don't want it to happen because then the run would be I, so <laughs> fast. Hey, don't worry, don't worry, I have my own. There was actually, uh, as of, like, not even a week ago, I think, um, <laughs> there was actually a new sequence break that was found. Um, where we could potentially skip the entirety of chapter one right off the bat. Um, if our sequence is set to, I believe it's 10, uh, which is the first tippy cutscene as soon as you enter 1-1. Um, if you were to somehow enter the 1-1 door, it would actually take you to the pre-chapter two cutscene. So that would be my favorite potential sequence break, personally. Let's go. So we'll see if that ever happens. That'd be nice. Okay. Uh, Favorite character? Who's your favorite character? Favorite character? Probably Carrie, because Carrie's fast. Or or Slim, because of gold bar clipping. <laughs> Slim is cool. Mine's Thudley. I have to be loyal to Thudley. Um, okay. So, hey, double kill. Nice. So, Speedrun asks, Luigi or definitely not Luigi? Uh, definitely Luigi. <laughs> Listen, it's not like Paper Mario Run where Luigi, or Paper Mario 1, where Luigi loses time. I guess I just want to mention kind of the gimmick with these guys. So the green guys will never jump, but the, uh, the blue guys will jump. So you might be seeing me do some interesting movement. Um, and yeah, just, you know, you'll, you'll see me do some interesting movement to avoid if they do jump. <laughs> Yoshi, I got another question for you. Go for it. What are you up to these days? What am I up to these days? You know, a lot of handling uh, packages at UPS. Yeah, at let's go. At 4 in the morning to 8.30. <laughs> and peak season is coming up. So right after I get back from Pace, it's time to, you know, be there for like five hours a day, sorting through everyone's Christmas gifts, stuff like that. It's going to be fun. I'm gonna work, I have to work six days a week, probably. That's gonna be fun. <laughs> What's the question? What charity are we supporting for this event? That's a great question. JCR, why don't you mention it again? We are supporting Urban Arts, a great charity that you can donate to. You from home, if you are interested in donating, you absolutely oh, can. Oh, you troll. Nope. You not you, you're not a troll, JCR. <laughs> no, 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 I know, I know. But uh, yeah, we, this whole marathon is to benefit Urban Arts. Uh, if you would like to donate, you absolutely can. Uh, they will be read out on stream. And we also have certain incentives that you can donate towards, such as a Nintendo Switch giveaway for $25 entry, uh, which is really awesome. So yeah, this uh, we are, to answer the question, Urban Arts. Let's go. Urban Arts! Woo! Gaming! All right, here's, a, I guess, a different kind of um, samurai guy. This is uh, the big samurai guy. Uh, hopefully he does not walk forward. It's very annoying when he walks forward. You suck. Uh -oh. 
There we go. <laughs> All right, continue. Okay. Uh, let me look. Have to ask, what is your favorite Mario character? Favorite Mario character? Uh, totally not some green dinosaur. Yeah, it's totally not, you know. <laughs> I didn't even hear that question. It was, it was uh, what's your favorite Mario character that doesn't start with a Y? That doesn't start with a Y. Probably Luigi. That's a good one. <laughs> and I'm not saying this just to entertain the crowd. I do like Luigi. Luigi! <laughs> See, personally, I love Luigi. Aw, <laughs> uh, the other one. The, the doppelganger. Yep. Yeah. I think I will use that Shroom Shake potentially, because my health is a little... So maybe it was a blessing that I got that Shroom Shake. Hmm. Wait, which... Uh... Oh, how long have you been running this game? On and off, about uh, three, three years? Four years? What was it? I forget. I honestly forget. I think it was 2019. It, yeah, it was 2019. So 2019. And I guess a bit of a story, not to like weird flex or anything, but this was Flash's words, not mine. Apparently, I changed how people ran this game when I started to run because I kind of decided to just, I woke up one day and I was like, wow, I really want to do what Cheese did. Uh, and I just decided to start doing runs and I got world record within like four months. So yeah, I nice don't, I don't hold, oh you suck. I don't hold world record <laughs> anymore, but I'm coming for you, Zach. No, I was kidding. Flash, <laughs> Flash said Yoshi started 2019 in January. Yes, Flash was there when I started. He sat with me in a call for five hours as I did my first run. And um, yeah, 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 it was, uh, it was pretty good. And there's also a clip that I'm not gonna mention that happened. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we don't have to talk about it, not today. <laughs> yeah, maybe another day. Uh, ask me after this run, and I'll, I'll maybe show you the clip. Okay, we got another question. Um, what's the weirdest glitch in SPM that you can think of? Not even the most useful, just the strangest. There was one time something... JCR has a clip where he just kind of clips out of bounds. Yeah. yeah that, I, I can't even describe... How do you describe it? So, uh, essentially, I was out of bounds and flip side, and I... Uh, Transitioned from 2D to 3D while entering a, the main flip side elevator, and it was just I, I I I can't even explain it past that. It was just you have to see the clip. It was crazy. It was insane. All right, JCR, you want to explain this coming up? Just yeah. How this thing works? So this is Fight 17, and we're gonna do what's called a corner clip. Oops. Uh, corner clipping was found by Malio, actually. Tass Malio, some of you might know him. Um, but he found this a very long time ago. Nice job, by the way. And um, we can only do this on two rooms in Chapter 6. We can do it on Fight 17 and Fight 20. Um, this room, you know, if we were to corner clip out of this room, we wouldn't be able to exit. Uh, the door is not loaded. However, 17 and 20, the doors are loaded because there's cutscenes that follow the fight. So, you uh, want to mention what we did originally to skip those fights? Yes, the, uh, the original method, which was found by myself, it was uh, it used some gold bar clipping. Let's go, gold so, bar clipping. So shouts out. But it's not faster. Yeah, no, the, the corner clip method is faster and it's easier. Oh, you. Hammer time. Oh, come on. Oh, there you go. <laughs> All right, well, I'm definitely going to use that shroom shake right now. Let's go ahead and do that, and let's just make sure I use the Shroom Shake. There we go. Nice. There you go. And we're going to be using another corner clip right here, and this is going to skip a very lengthy cutscene. Like, JCR just kind of pulls up one day and is like, hey, what if we did this? Yeah. And it cut off a minute. Yeah, it, it's like literally exactly a minute for both of these skips. And it's so easy. Even the gold bar method is, well actually the gold bar method's a little harder, and that's because <laughs> I've accidentally jumped on the stage yeah, before. That's that's the, that's the worst part. But yeah, that's, uh, as, as you've noticed, that is it. That is chapter six. Now we can get through all these fights, and we're about to hit a star block here. Yeah, so, up. yeah, it's gonna be very, very long. We have to go through all 100 rooms. We're gonna have to go to the very end and get the pure, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. We don't, we, don't. We, have to, we don't have to do all that. Uh, but yeah, thank you all for the questions. You know, hope we answered most of them. Um, 
And yeah, so like I mentioned, we don't do every single chapter. Chapter six is actually more of an optional thing to do later in post game, which we're not gonna do. <laughs> now nah, there, there's gonna be a uh, a pretty important event that happens here in the next coming rooms in six two. There we go, star block. And now we just gotta go through and get to the end of the chapter and hopefully get the pure heart. You know, that'd be a good thing to do. Not saving once again. Who needs to save? Yeah, who needs saving, right? The princess does sometimes. <laughs> six dash two. Yeah, six two. Oh wait, here he is. It's King's. All right, he just tells us this chest has the, uh, the pure heart. So All right, we're good, right? Let's go. Pure heart in the test. Oh, what the heck? Uh oh. That that wasn't. What the? Wait King Samur, why are you trying to kill us? What's this about? Who is it? It's Mimi. Me, me. Uh, All right, you know what? You know what? Let's roast her. Yeah, let's it's just absolutely wash. One, two, and, and three. three. And it's over. And three. <laughs> there you go. That's the fight. She doesn't turn into her spider form in this fight. Let's go. Thank you for the extended round of applause. <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Oops. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to go ahead and go to uh, get the actual pure heart. Uh, so I guess we never noticed, uh, mentioned this, but the portal is a lot bigger, as you can see. Yeah, there, there has been that black little, hole. you know, that purple void black hole that's been in the background of the game since the very beginning, and it has grown to an enormous size, as you can see. There are a few friends in my life that have no fear, and if they saw us in real life, they'd probably be like, oh, I want to go see what's on the other side. <laughs> but yeah, also, this music is great. It's not played enough. It's definitely a jam. I actually learned how to play this on bass guitar. Like the uh, kind of the background um, part of it. But anyways, um, the world's ending. It's over. Armageddon. Ah. <laughs> Someone just say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's All go. right. The world yeah. is ending. Oh my god. All right, guys, that's the end of the run. No, it's not. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. No. <laughs> Watch, Milo's like, Yoshi, why did you submit a 405 estimate? Uh, no reason. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I love how when Bowser's, like, dead, he's not, he's, like, not even closing his eyes fully. Makes you wonder if that's how he sleeps. He just, like, doesn't close his eyes fully. All right, so we do have to actually go back. So we're gonna go back to chapter six again. All right. Yeah. Surely nothing terrible happened. Oh yeah, no. Ah, oh, six one. Ah, uh, we gotta uh, start over again. Oh. Dang it. Oh. 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 Uh. <laughs> What's? This is what I like to call a blank canvas. So artists, um, time to get drawing. Um. Yeah. Yeah, so as you can see, there's not a whole lot. How would you describe this, JCR? Like, like oh, what happened? Just as I remember it. I love Samur Kingdom. <laughs> I love Samur Kingdom. It's just nothing but a white screen. Yeah, actually, real talk, this is actually like, <laughs> it's, it's crazy intense. The whole world just dissolves. Died. It's over. That's it. Is this what it's going to be like if our world ends? Is it just a blank canvas with a it's just a blank canvas? <laughs> so this is what I like to call holding right simulator, you know. Just kind of waiting for something to happen. You know, a great thing to do would be to have like a, a gif of this and like <laughs> just, do, do yeah. and then do a run. <laughs> And yeah, then just, just do a run. Just <laughs> with that cloud animation and tippy. <laughs> that's it. Just, that's just, it. just that's the gif for like 10 hours. <laughs> yeah, this is the rest of the run. This is it. All yeah, right. All right. We're going to be doing this for the next like hour and a half. Let's go.
Oh wait, what's that? It's a, it's a rock! It's a, it is a rock, but it's actually the pure heart. Oh wait. Oh, Hang it's on. Waluigi again! Oh, this guy. Alright, so we're having another fight here, and I'm just gonna mention that uh, JCR told me I should practice this fight, and for some reason I didn't, so if I suck at this fight, then JCR warned me. You got it. I got it? Okay. You well, because you believe in me, I think I'm gonna get it now. It's Brobot again! I thought we killed you last time. Alright, well, you guys like Thudley, right? Well, let's just go ahead and switch to Thudley. Nice. Alright. There we go. Nice, there you go. Thudley! Who needs practice? Who needs practice? Who needs Not it? me! I did practice a lot before this run. <laughs> but I will mention, because my life is kind of busy now, I did not have a, like, I did not have time to do a full run. I did segments. So I did, like, chapter one practice one day. I did, like, chapter two, three, four. I did all the chapters. So this is essentially, like, my first run, in, full run in a while. But it's worth it. We got a stone heart? A Yay? Heart, a guess? pure heart? That's not, that doesn't look that, that does not look that pure. I don't, I don't know what's going on. Yay! Hey, chapter six is over. Yay. Yeah, the clap, just the endless clap for the rest of the run. Yeah, all right. <laughs> no, please do not hurt yeah. your hands. You guys are like one of the hypest crowds at 2.31 in the morning. Yeah, this is the best. It's what you do? Let's go. Mario Party is the game that ruins friendships. In fact, um, shouts to my friend Manador. Oh yeah, um, Waluigi's dead, or Mr. L's dead. Woo! All right, yeah. Uh, I want to tell a little bit of a story. Uh, he's probably not watching the stream, but if he is, uh, sorry to call you out. Um, I played Mario Party with my friend Manador and a few others, and uh, it was Mario Party 1. So it was already brutal enough, and uh, I won by one coin. It came down to the last bonus stars, and I won by one coin. <laughs> Don't you love when your friends win by one coin? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> All right, so yeah, unfortunately, um, you know, Mr. Al is dead. Yeah, and we got a, uh, a rock for a pure heart, so I say let's go to Merlin. Yeah, I, th I think so. I agree. Let's go to Merlin. Let's beat the game, yeah. yeah. World record. <laughs> oh, if only. Need to be on an entirely different version. All right. Bowser can somehow go under that save block, by the way. I, I don't know how, but he can. So there's Merlin, and uh, Merlin got a bit of a problem, okay? So it's stone. It's a rock. You know, this would be really unfortunate if, like, that wasn't actually the pure heart. It was, like, just literally a stone in the shape of a heart. Like, that would be really unfortunate. Wait, why is Dementia here? Why is Dementia here? Uh-oh. What's going on? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. What are you doing? Oh, oh, well, no, no. They're, they're, we're dying. We're dead. All right, we beat the game. game. Yeah, let's go. We're dead. Game over. It's Any over. Game over percent. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I do still. I I'm worried that we're going to say that and then someone on tech is going to stop the timer. But yes, pl pl please do not. <laughs> so, welcome to the underwear. Yes, haha. -ha, I said underwear. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Good one. Okay, so this is based on Greek mythology. Uh, this is un the underwear, referencing the underworld. Uh, there is a character here called Jades, reference to Hades. You know, you starting to see a theme here? I see it. Yeah, you know, pretty yeah, Greek mythology. Let's go. And uh, who's who's this character? This is uh, this is Lovey. Lovey. We don't know that yet, though. Oh, wait, my bad. This is an unnamed character. This is not Love V. You didn't hear it. <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately we don't have carry, so we have to kind of go slow. But it's okay, because there are 
Uh, there is a glitch coming up involving corner clipping, but not in quite the way you saw before. It's going to involve taking damage in 3D and involve being in water. Yep, so there is, of course, there is an out-of-bounds clip for water, specific to water, and uh, this was actually found completely on By accident. accident. Completely on accident. Our guy, NM Flash 8, was doing a 14-hour 100% run and just happened to be going through 7-1 and just happened to accidentally clip through. <laughs> clip yeah, we're, through. we're not joking. Like, it this was... literally happened. His reaction was genuine. His mouth, his jaw just dropped so quickly yeah, because we had been trying to find how to do... Well, this is before my time. So you guys were trying to find water switch skip is what it's called for so long but could not find it. And then Flash just did that. Flash just does it. And then afterwards, it, we literally have an emote of his face in the Discord. He just made like the best Pog Champ ever. Also, if you say no there a bunch of times again, uh, game over. Another one. Yep. Yeah, got another one. That's like what, the third? Yeah, third or fourth, something like that. All right. So you can go ahead and explain water switch skip if you want. Yeah, so once again, we mentioned, you know, out of bounds clip with water. Uh, essentially, we need to do this trick two times, once on the way. Uh, there and once on the way back, but basically you're going to see Yoshi flip into 3D here, and that is to drain the 3D meter. Um, the way to clip out of bounds is while in 3D, if you take 3D damage and you're near a corner, uh, you can pretty much take through it as you, you can go through it as soon as you take damage. All right, the fastest way to get it is right here, so let's see if we can get it immediately in the room. There we go. There we go. So as you can see, I can just kind of swim out of bounds right here. I need to make sure I don't fall because there was, I forget which run it was, but I once did a run where I fell out of bounds too much and I just respawned. It was very unfortunate. Yeah, as you can see, just skip draining the water. Yep. And we have to do it coming back. And the funny thing is, is if, you, if there wasn't a way to do it back, We'd soft lock. Yeah, we'd actually just get it there. I'm pretty sure. Who's that? It's Luigi! Oh! Finally! It only took seven chapters! Oh my gosh, seven chapters to finally get green Mario? Let's go. Luigi Mario? <laughs> Luigi! Luigi, yeah, so we can actually play Luigi is the fourth hero that we've been waiting on. Uh, we can play as Luigi, and he has a really, really awesome ability that allows him to spring jump and reach really, really high places. Yeah, and he also does double damage when you do the spring jump. So, it's pretty cool. Um, we're going to go ahead and switch back to Mario, though, momentarily. And we're gonna do another corner. <laughs> yes, I know. What are we doing? Another clip out of bounds. Yeah, we're doing another clip out of bounds. We're gonna do that, basically that same thing. And I guess something we never mentioned, but flipping right there like brings Mario to like the very uh, edge. All right, so let's see if we can get this. There nice. we go, first try both times. Perfect, let's go. And now I am back. So yeah, that saves like probably like, because of how I did there, probably saves like, what, like a minute? Close yeah, to like a minute? Around a full minute, yeah. So that that whole area, it's called water switch skip. There's, there's a whole water switch puzzle where you have to raise the water, lower the water, raise again, uh, back and forth while, you know, it, you can't hit blocks while there's water, so Oops. you have to destroy blocks. Oh, I heard water, it, it just, it skips the whole thing, so. Yeah, there are many different ways you could do that. The one that Flash found only saves like, what, like 25 seconds or something? Um, and it's kind of, there's like no setup involved to go for it, so it's like not the easiest to go for. Yeah. But then once we found the setup, it ended up being uh, very fast and very speedy. And you know, we like going fast. Speaking of going fast, let's just make use of 3D and go up here. Skipping having to go all the way back. And there is someone in here. What is that? I, I don't know. It's uh, it's oh my gosh, it's it's Love V. That you already said her name, but we know her her name is Love V now. Yeah. And thankfully, it's the first option. <laughs> Love V, Bub V, and what was the other one? <laughs> I can't even tell. Who knows? 
She's mad because we knew her name. Essentially, her lore is she's been waiting for a prince to come. You know, print her prince charming. You know, like some sort of Disney film, I guess. I don't know. And um, she said only the real prince, like my real prince, will uh, know my name. We know her name, and she's mad because her prince is a plumber. So you know. All right. So oh yeah, we can pay to go across the boat there. Or we could just jump across the water like this. Oh no, <laughs> that it, boat is not fast at all. No, it's faster. To I didn't even pay for it casually. Like who nope. did? Like why? It's not more fun. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, it's not that fun. Oh yeah, so you know those those creatures there are called D Man, not Demon, but D Man. Haha, ha. so it's like a, it's like a demon, you know? Ha ha ha. Oh my gosh. Have, has, has a theme. Hey, the pure heart's back to normal. Oh, it's not a rock anymore. Let's go. Let's go. And JD says that we're not actually dead, so we are going to return home. Wherever home, that, wherever home is. It's a star. Yeah, what the heck? Where's Cheese? Cheese, you should be doing this run. Cheese, where are you at? <laughs> hey, I know. <laughs> I saw him here for the picture, though, so I'm definitely... Oh, yeah, I'm going to make sure to post that picture as soon as my run is done, so... Anyone that wants to see that picture, uh, Twitter is at Yoshi underscore Zilla. Self-promote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got Luigi now. You know, Luigi is indeed the fourth hero. Yes, Luigi. Oh, yeah. And, um, yeah, so Luigi is indeed the fourth hero. And, um, but we're missing Bowser and Peach. Um, we should probably get both of them back. Yeah. Both, maybe one. Yeah. I think I only want to get one back. Which one? Um, I don't know. Bowser's kind of cool. You know, I, I know he's a villain and all, but like... It's Free kinda, Spider, the double damage. Double damage? Yeah, it's kind of useful. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to be going to the next Pure Heart Pillar, which, again, is um, in the same spot. And I guess, uh, do you want to mention or talk about the... Uh, so you know how the, the next Pure Heart Pillar is just on the other side, like, of that screen? Mm. Uh, you want to mention the whole thing of how we can't skip chapters because of the flags? Yeah, so there, there's tons of different... Obviously, we have looked into, like, entire chapter skips for a long time. Still looking to this day. Uh, and I, maybe there will be one day that we find one. However, uh, this game is, you know, it, it is programmed well in the sense that uh, the pure heart pillars are specific to each chapter. They are specific to each pure heart. Uh, there are certain flags set. In fact, the chapter 8 pure heart pillar... Uh, if you went over there, it's not even loaded in. It's just. But like, you can see the heart yeah, outline. Yeah, you, you can see the heart outline. It's just not even there. So, um, unfortunately, you can't put certain. As far as we know, we can't put certain pure hearts in other pillars. Um, but maybe we'll find something one day. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it will happen. Maybe it won't. Anyways, we've got seven pure hearts now. It's purple. <laughs> purple door. It's purple. Purple's a great color, right? Oh yeah. It's the best color. Oh, well, no, I, I kind of like green, but purple is definitely a great color. All right, we're turnpipe again. You know, when I, when I was younger and I casually played this game, I always thought that the return pipe was like a one-use-only thing for some reason, so I never used it <laughs> for anything. All right, so we're entering Chapter 7. You know, I wonder what Chapter seven's going to be like. I don't yeah, know. It's should be some new area that we haven't seen before. Yeah, new area that we haven't seen before. So, it's, a it's a vacation, so, you know, yeah, so maybe it's like a nice vacation. tropical area. This piece looks kind of a little familiar, though. Uh, I recognize this outline. Wait a minute. Wait uh, a minute. We're back in the underwear. Okay. It's Baltimore. It's Baltimore. It's Baltimore. <laughs> Are you saying that Baltimore is the underworld? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, that, oh, something funny. 
that fountain actually heals us. You'd think, you know, being in a place like the underworld, it wouldn't heal us, but it does. I think it's because we're alive here, so like it heals us. Also, ooh, bad RNG. Just need to kind of get by here. There we go. Okay, not the bad RNG. Um, those lava bubbles uh, sometimes like to ruin your life, but um, they didn't, which is good. And now we can walk on water. Kinda, we're jumping, because it's a little faster. So Luigi's Jesus, everyone. All right. Luigi's Jesus, yes. Oh, man. So thankfully, 7-1 is very quick. We just need to go to the end, talk to JD's, and be like, hey, apparently the pure heart is in your land, or it's in the, it's actually called the over there, which is essentially the heaven of this game. So, you know. And JD's asks if we can take her daughter back to the over there, because that's where she belongs. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. No. <laughs> if we say no a bunch of times there, we don't actually game over. Love me just says, listen, I'm sorry for how I treat you. Just take me already. She kind of is just a brat. <laughs> All right. Oh, and she does not like Tippy for whatever reason. Yeah, they have, uh, they have some banter going on in every single level. <sighs> you know. There we go. Hey, 7-1, that was easy. Not, right. not, not hard whatsoever. All right, but as I mentioned, chapter seven. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, we're getting to the end game now. It's uh, we're getting to the scary parts. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. The sealed door is three. So, um, this level is interesting because it makes use of these door guys, all called door guys, um, each having different names and. Two of them are going to have quizzes, and one of them are going to have a fight. And just want to remember, JCR, uh, the first door guy is 1-2-2, two, two, correct? Yep, 1-2-2. Right. Two, two. So that makes sense. I usually have notes just to make sure I'm doing everything right, but I forgot them. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Oops. So this movement's actually changed quite a bit in this chapter. Um, I don't even remember the old movement, but it's just it's updated since then. And what I did was faster. Well, besides the fact that I bonked. Don't, don't pay attention to that. <laughs> all right, so door guy essentially asks us three questions, and we have to answer all of them uh, correctly in order to proceed. So he's door guy the first, and whatever he asks, he said, I think apple, I think it was apple six times. Yeah. All right. And coming up is a bit of a mini, fi uh, mini boss fight, which is a bit challenging now with the new strategy that we do. So the strategy we used to do was use a shell shock, but we found out it's faster to skip going to the store and buying the shell shocks. And um, well, we're actually going to be using Kudge because Kudge does double damage. We never mentioned this, but Kudge does double damage as well. Basically, those demons mentioned that there is a monster behind those doors, and they think that we are crazy for fighting it. But uh, it's a, uh, it's Bowser. There he is. For some reason, Bowser's mad at us because what he thinks we stole Peach or something. We're trying to like separate them. Yeah, I think it's, it's the same thing as three. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna have to hit Bowser with Kudge, and Bowser has the weirdest hitbox ever. Or like, either that or Kudge has a weird hitbox. Like that. Oh, he's celebrating. Ah. I don't even know how I didn't take damage there. Don't die? Okay. I'll keep that in mind. I'm going to... There we go. I didn't die! Are you proud of me? All right. Yeah. I didn't die. I didn't die. It would have been more of a sin to kill Luigi. <laughs> yeah, so I'm saying I didn't die because I didn't want to kill Luigi. Oh, yeah. yeah, so to add on to uh, what Yoshi was saying, that whole segment um, about, you know, not having to use an item on that fight, that goes back to a, uh, I guess, a new strat that was uh, found by Zack. Once again, another <laughs> thing found by Zack, but it's, it's known as shopless. Essentially, 
Uh, instead of buying an Ice Storm and a Shell Shock early, like right in during pre-Chapter 2, uh, we can do the Francis fight with Bowser Thudley, and then we can do this fight with Luigi Pudge. And welcome to a bunch of stairs. Get used to this. Yeah. And you can really optimize your movement here. Let's keep going. Yes, this is the rest, rest of, of the run. run. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. Uh, we did it. All right. Uh, this door guy is brutal. So you answer five questions. You need to answer all of them correct. But if you answer one wrong, he still goes through the entire quiz. So you have to go through the entire quiz knowing that you've got them wrong. This is 3, 2, 1, 1, 1. Um, you have to go through the entire quiz knowing that you've done it wrong and then do it again. It loses so much time. So please, controller, don't double input. Please. Please. I will. That would be. That would just be great. All right, there we go. So now, as long as I don't hold down or anything, I'm going to purposely. I'm going to hold the Wii remote like this. I'm not going to be touching it whatsoever. I'm just going to match. So yeah, we should be in the clear. So yeah, basically this quiz is there, you have to follow certain shapes, certain colors on the screen, and figure out how many of a certain thing. Like right there, the last answer was triangle, so he was probably asking what, like what, like what uh, shape was yellow or whatever the color was. All right, um, JCR, I have to confess something to you. What's that? Well, you know, I don't think we got enough of 7-2. Oh, don't tell me what I think you're going to tell me. Uh, you know, I think, wouldn't it be great if we could just do the entire level again? No, it literally would not. Be yeah, you're right, it wouldn't be, but we have to. Oh. We have to go to the start of this level to get this uh, old hag, whatever her name is. Uh, what is it, a cookbook it's, or something? Yeah, it's a diet book, yeah. A diet book. Diet so she wants book. to be on a diet. And now we gotta go through the chapter again. We don't need to fight Bowser, but yeah. still. Something cool about this room in particular, you're gonna see it literally one more time. You see this room three times in this room. Let's go three times. Three times. All right, that was a bit better. My movement was a bit better there. Yeah, that's the cool thing though. You have, I have, I have three chances to have good movement in that room. All right, let's oh, climb these again for like the rest of the run. This will be another cool GIF to make, or GIF, GIF. It is called GIF, not GIF. What does JCR stand for? It's a very, uh, it, it's, it's too complicated to explain. But I can tell you later if you want. All right. So there we go, we, we, we went through the entire level. It wasn't, it wasn't that bad, but. It's kind of eh. All right, and we've just hit the three hour mark, so. All righty. Hopefully we have, you know, about an hour left. If I play well. All right, so now we get to continue on and go to the end of this part. And thankfully, since we have Luigi, we can just spring jump here. Luigi, yeah! Yeah, Luigi. Alright, so this is a bit RNG. Let's hope it's not too bad. Oh man, the worst RNG! Yeah, you, these boulders are kind of troll. There we go. That's not bad. Also, there, you can notice like little... Don't tell Luigi. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, you can notice little tiki's in the room. Uh, if you light up one of those with Bowser, it'll like take away the darkness for a short amount of time. You can do that in the room. Oh, hey, it's chomps. Yeah, these are the under chomp. Oh, and here we go. Here it's we go. an RPG battle. Let's go. Hey, I think we should kill it in one hit. Yeah, let's do it. Go Shooting star totally that we picked up in uh, 4 3. There you go. It just uh, wipes out. One, two, and three. It's Undertale. It's Undertale. <laughs> Amazing. You know, something funny is it technically says that you need a specific pixel to, like, like do that fight the best, but that pixel is op optional. It's not even required, technically. All right. Here comes seven, 
Dash three. Yeah, it's about that time. All right, so, JCR, why don't you explain what we're gonna do in this level before I even do it because it's gonna be a lot to explain and I'm probably gonna tell everyone to be quiet for like two minutes. <laughs> yeah, so this is 7-3, this is the first level of the Over There. And uh, specifically in this level, as you notice, we got Bowser back in 7-2 and uh, we are actually able to get Peach back in our party. Um, this level is a little bit complex. Basically, the way you beat it casually is you have to find uh, different apples and trees. You have to do a lot of exploring all throughout this level. Uh, you have to specifically find a black apple to wake up Peach and a red apple to give to a cloud that shoots you to the end of the level. Uh, however, we can skip all of that only for the price of 50 to 60 Dudley Jumps. So, it, yes, it is... It's a lot of Thudley Jumps. It, it is the most amount of Thudley Jumps in this game. Doing it very well saves, uh, on average... What the? Oh. Oh. What oh. the? There we go. Uh, doing it, um, well, on average saves around two minutes. You can save a little more, a little less. It all depends on how your Thudley Jumps are, but... Uh, again, Thudley, frame perfect. Yeah, literally, Thudley jumps are a frame perfect trick in a 60 FPS game. Uh, not easy whatsoever. But uh, you're going to see Yoshi, who uh, knows the rhythm of Thudley jumps. You can keep the rhythm. Oh, well, uh, yeah, we can skip Peach. So <laughs> we're about to see a lot of Thudley jumps. Yeah, I mean, hey, don't don't hype it up too much. You know, putting, putting me on the spot. It's, it's almost like I'm doing a run. I don't want to be put on the spot. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> Yeah, so, what the, I didn't even press that. <laughs> but yeah, something something neat about this level is, even though it's the most amount of Thudley jumps that we'll see in one portion of the game, uh, it is still not the largest time save. In fact, scanners can be uh, save more time than this. Yeah, and there is a Thudley jump actually coming up like immediately after Peach Skip that saves even more, and it's only, ooh, what did I do there? I don't, I don't know why I did that. Okay, let's just jump no, back yeah, down. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Nice. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Please. Okay. There we go. Uh, it uh, it saves like seven minutes, and it's yes, only five. <laughs> For four to five thumb jumps. Yeah. All right. So here's what I wish was the entirety of Peach Skip, because it's the only part where you actually have to use Peach. There's okay, one. And there's two. That is what I wish was Peach Skip. But it's not, unfortunately. So yeah, as I mentioned, I'm probably gonna have everyone, you know, kind of be silent. I know everyone's gonna want to cheer me on, but just cheer on in your head because I'm gonna have to focus. It is not an easy trick. Um, it's it's very difficult. I almost just didn't even get on that platform. <laughs> Do you want me to stay quiet as well? Uh, probably. Okay. Um, but yeah. So. Talk about anything you want to talk about right now before we get to this section. All right. Uh, crowd, anything you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> Dang. Urban Ur Arts. Shout out to Urban Arts. If you want to donate, you can still get your donations in. Uh, we are currently at $4,500. Uh, we can still add on to that total. Remember, all donations, uh, whatever your incentives may be, they go directly to Urban Arts. Yeah. Woo! All right. So here comes Peach Skip, so you know, I'm gonna ask everyone to be quiet, but as soon as I like let everyone know that I get it, feel free to cheer as loud and as long as you want. It is, uh, you know, it's very hard. So, wish me luck, everyone. Good luck, you got it. All right, wish me luck, chat, bless in the chat, or whatever you wanna spam, just show some support. Whatever emotes you like. Here we go. The good thing I'm gonna mention real quickly about these Stelly Jumps is there are checkpoints like these, there are clouds, so I don't need to do like 50 in a row, but it's a lot.
speed running. Yeah, let's go. Peach skip completed. Wait, right, hang on. One little more thing. I'm not. No. 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 <laughs> I'm not doing this jump. I can't believe. A uh, little bit of a hiccup at the end, but that's okay. I'll, I'll still take that. Hey, good stuff. Just a reminder, every single one of those was frame perfect. Frame perfect, yeah. So I had that little hiccup at the end because, you know, when I'm close to the end there, because that's the final section, I uh, kind of panicked slightly, but it was okay. I, I, I recovered. But there we go. So yeah, um, with how fast I did that, I probably saved like a minute yeah. um, or so. Uh, doing that, which is still, you know, really good. Um, but yeah, um, the best Peach Cup I've actually ever done was in a marathon run. It was for GDQ's time capsule. And, like, it just, it was amazing how quickly I got it. Yeah, that was like the best Peach Cup I've ever seen you do. <laughs> yeah, and a little story. When Flash is teaching me how to speedrun SPM, I decide, hey, you know what, why, why not? I'll try Peach Skip, you know, just for the fun of it. Uh, I think I learned, I learned how to do a thudly jump, and then within an hour I did Peach Skip. <laughs> I meant to get on carry. There we go. All right. It's usually faster to have Bowser there, uh, but usually you end the level by doing a very tight jump with Mario. Um, but I just didn't do it because I, I miss it too much. <laughs> also, obviously, you know, it, it is called Peach Skip for a reason. We, uh, if you what? ever see the, uh, okay. the party list, we don't have Peach. We are unable to select Peach. Uh, but we will see her again. Uh, there is a section. We'll see her one, again. Which we'll see her again. Yeah, so coming up, we get to do more Thudley jumps. But these Thudley jumps are not that hard. So here comes Elevator Skip. It's just about two or three Thudley jumps, and it saves about a minute. Let's see if I can get it. I think that might make it. Nope. There we go. Elevator skip. And that one's actually optional, too. Uh, it's not required to do in the run. But here comes the biggest time save of the entire run. Yes. This is pretty it. sure. This is it. Yes. This is a seven-minute time save. So remember this chapter, how you had to get all those orbs? Well, let's just... One. Two. Three. For the price of four Thugly Jumps, you Let's can skip go. the entire chapter. Nice. Speed running! Speed running, yeah. Those characters will stay frozen forever. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, it's been kind of, like, you know, chilly here recently. Well, it was actually hot today. Yeah, it was. It was very hot today for some reason. All right, so they somehow got unfrozen. I guess the power of friendship? The power of Rainbow Bridge? Yeah, 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 it yeah. yeah. Works. It, it, it works. Also, funny enough, um, after we complete this level, uh, if you go back into 7-4 after you beat the game on, on a complete save file that did RBS, um, there's certain rooms that you cannot enter because we didn't complete you know, we didn't complete those rooms as intended. We didn't complete the sequences. Uh, as soon as you enter certain rooms, the game will just crash. So, it, unfortunately, uh, it is a strat, I think, uh, in 100%. Oops. You have to do, uh, I think you have to do everything like... Uh, yeah, you have to do everything first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That way you don't avoid the, uh, the crashing. All right, so hopefully I do this fight correctly. Um, if I do this fight correctly, it will last a second. But I've been failing it a lot more recently for some reason, and I didn't practice this. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, and we're gonna find out a big plot twist. The pure heart is Love V. Nice. Love V is the pure heart, and she doesn't believe it. We'll, we'll have to figure that out later. Here, let's, uh, let's fight Bone Chill for now, and let's see what happens. Did you guys blink? Wait, can you do it again? I missed this. Did you guys blink? Oh, do, do I have to do it again? Yeah, you gotta do it again, sorry. <laughs> so essentially, we do another Thudley hit, and uh, we kind of get stuck between the ceiling and we just... <laughs> yeah, this, <laughs> for whatever reason, there's like a low... Well, actually, it's not even a low ceiling, but there is a ceiling above this boss, like right above the head. Uh, you can easily do this as well with Luigi's Spring Jump, so 
This could be done pretty easily. But it's bad right, Bowser. Yeah, it's faster. And welcome to a very lengthy cutscene. So do you want to explain the lore, JCR? Yes, so uh, the pure heart was stowed away uh, as Love Bee. Love Bee was, you know, designed by these uh, JDs, and uh, I forget the other characters. Gramby. <laughs> Gramby, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it was, Love Bee was designed as the protector of the pure heart, uh, and Love Bee was raised as their child, and now Love Bee's finding out that, you know, she's the pure heart, and it is about to sacrifice herself for... For the speed run! For the speed run! For the speed run, let's go! Yeah, so, and it's funny because she ends up saying, so, and she has a lot of Shakespeare language. She, like, talks in, like, you know, doth thou, like, stuff like that. Um, so, you know, Old English, yeah, Shakespeare, Old English, whatever you want to call it. Um, and she says, like, you know, oh, so you guys are my prince after all or whatever you want to say and um yeah as you can see unlike tippy just kind of having the pure heart come out of her the love bee just kind of turns into the pure heart and something i find funny is like Grammy's like please take care of the pure heart and Bowser's like okay yeah okay got it sounds good man but guys it's the eighth and final pure heart we got it we got them all! Eight out of eight. Look at all of our pixels dancing. You got a pure heart. So now we only have one more chapter. Man, we're at the end of the game already? I thought, I thought this run just started like three minutes ago. <laughs> yeah. It's only been three hours. It's only been three hours? Wow. <laughs> time, time is... I think time is not real. <laughs> Currently, you know, three in the morning. Nah, it's not three in the morning. <laughs> all right, so they are all preparing for Mario and, well, almost all four of the heroes. Technically, only three of the heroes to show up. Um. So yeah, you know, fun times. They're getting ready. And do you need to remember, I don't have a mighty tonic uh, for Dementio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on, Tippy? She's mentioning a name called Bloomier. What is Bloomier? I'm not sure. Not too sure on that one. Okay, we are here at the final stretch. So everyone in chat, you know, right now, staying up till like three in the morning right now. Great job. You're doing great. Shouts out. You guys are awesome. Yeah, and everyone in the audience too. I yeah. know some. I know some people are sleeping, but it's okay. It's a great run to sleep too. <laughs> All right, so where is the last pure heart pillar? It's in Flopside. Who would have thought? It's in Flopside. You know, the, uh, same spot as the I do have enough to actually buy my tongue. I don't think it would be much faster though. <laughs> it's, it's your call if you want to do it. I don't think it would, I don't think it would be much faster. So I'm not gonna. Yeah. I think it'd be about the same speed considering you have to like go all the way to the right. That's pretty funny though. You pretty much almost exactly have the amount that you need. Yeah, I have coins to spare. All right, so we're just going to jump. Oh, never mind. I guess we're not going to jump. Yeah, <laughs> failed jump. All right, here's the last pure heart pillar. There we go. So yeah, if, you, if we were to come over here originally, it would just be no pillar and just a heart, or just 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 a heart. Just, yeah. But there we go. So there were seven doors on Flipside Tower. So where is the eighth door? Flopside Tower. So unfortunately, we cannot use the return pipe. We have to go up normally. That's okay. Because we get to gold bar clip for the last time. <laughs> All right. Hey, there's no room. And there it goes. And there it goes, yeah. Good talking. So unfortunately, we cannot actually do the thing that we could originally where we could uh, like flip back into 3D. 
um, to like do a little bit of a shortcut there. So it's a little unfortunate. Also, I might actually purposely take damage here because I'm a little low. Here is a skip that was actually found by, I think it was Zach. Yes. But I found a faster version. Yes. <laughs> I actually found a faster version by complete accident. Right, I'm gonna take damage here purposely. There we go. All right. So I'll explain my version in a bit. But first, let's just do this. And this is the final gold bar clip. Gold bar clipping. We need to go forward just a little bit. All right. There we go. So it might look like nothing happened, but uh, guess what? Guess what happens? The screen fades. The screen the fades, and we enter chapter eight. So basically, I believe it was Zach or someone that found that you could clip out of bounds and essentially open the door. But when I was doing it in my run, I accidentally got, off, got on carry. And so I did that and I was like, oh shoot, I failed it. And then that happened and it ended up being like three seconds faster. I found a glitch by accident during a run. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, and it was funny because I think I actually did another thing during that run that ended up being a little bit faster. So I like found like two strats in one run. Yeah. So you know, showing off the, the gamer skills. Yep, so here we are, this is it. Chapter eight, we are entering Count Flex Castle. Count Flex Castle. Do you think it's gonna be scary? I do. Yeah, kinda of spooky. You know, I have like a little bit of like, I get flashbacks when I come to specifically this screen, because like we mentioned, this uh, game on the Japanese version is very unstable and just crashes. I was on a PB pace run seven minutes ahead, and I crashed on that screen. Uh, <laughs> it was brutal. The worst part is I reloaded my game because I had been saving, and I actually almost PB'd still. I was so far ahead I almost PB'd. I don't know why I got off carry. All right, now we did Peach Skip. So here is a trick known as the second hardest thing about Peach Skip, like doing Peach Skip. All right, okay, here we go. There it is. Ooh. And we got nice. it! Woo All right. But guys, wait till you see the first hardest thing about Peach Skip. Oh man, like JCR, like, how many runs have you lost to the second hardest thing about Peach Skip? <laughs> Too many to count, and more than I would like to admit. If I were to... Actually, I'm not really sure where I'm going with this, so I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> Oh man. Oh gosh, okay. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> Alright, here we go. The first hardest thing about Peach Skip. There it is. Okay. Oh my gosh, we got it. Nice. Oh, there we go. So, uh, all jokes aside, yeah, you just did like 50 Thudley jumps, so that's easy. <laughs> But there have been cases where I've actually failed that. I'm just like, are you kidding me? I did 50 Thudley jumps, but I can't do one. That's like what happens sometimes, though. Sometimes you do like 50 Thudley jumps, and you're like, wow, I'm doing really great. And then all of a sudden, you just can't get one. You just need one, and you just can't get it. Has that happened to you, JCR? <laughs> yes. <laughs> too many, again, too many times that I like to admit. Too many to count. So. Something uh, cool to mention, you're going to see this a lot in Chapter 8, but you'll notice Yoshi uh, sort of stayed in 2D as long as possible in that room, and there's certain rooms uh, where you must flip in 3D, like for example, there was uh, uh, Jobuses in those rooms, and you can't get over those when you're in 2D, you have to flip. Um, but there's a lot of rooms that you're going to see can be done in 2D with some really cool movement. Hey, I avoid taking damage in 3D. Nice. All right, so there's a Bowser pattern right here. Just to light these on fire. What the? <laughs> well, okay. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever you say. Bowser's you aim is a little off there. <laughs> Bowser's pretty cool. I agree. Oh. oh, here we go, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah, I sincerely apologize that we have to do this to you. There's something I gotta tell you guys, and I mean it's not my fault. I'm so sorry for everyone's eyes because the door is off center from it's the stairs. It's centered. It's misaligned. It's oh, misaligned. No. <laughs> I know. I never noticed it for so long until it was pointed out. 
Yes. And it, it, it's like similar to the ticking in you know Paper Mario Thousand Door. Like I don't really notice it until someone points it out. And it was good to fight Chunks again. And Chunks is actually not that hard. I'm essentially going to just be. Well, you'll see. Just keep going, tapping left and then going right. Just tapping left, going right. Tapping left, going right. Tapping left, going right. I, you're sensing a theme here. Oopsie. There we go. Nice. That's Chunks. Woo also, we saw Peach. Why didn't we see Peach? I thought Peach is dead. Or she's like eternally asleep. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure what's going on there. Oh. That was terrifying. Also, how does Bowser, like, rotate his arms that way? Does he just not have joints or something? <laughs> Shoutouts to Chugger Conroy, a Let's Player, who, who, who just yells, Bowser's arms! <laughs> That's a classic. Oh yeah, Peach is alive somehow. Also, guys, guess what? It is canon in this game that Bowser says the old famous "No you." <laughs> he says "No you." It's canon in this game. <laughs> he literally just Uno reversed. Uh, so yeah, um, gimmick of chapter eight is we're going to lose uh, one of the heroes after um, yeah Bowser died. He's gone. Don't get on carry here. It's not fast to be on carry. All right. So we have to go on without Bowser. Sorry, guys. No Jack Black on this adventure. All right. Jack Black is Mario now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hot takes. <laughs> Hot takes. Hmm. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go through this level. Uh, this level has a few tricks. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can get through this room. Okay, these sproings. Is that what they're called? They're called sproings. I like something never like remember. A, like those are like. What, Blast something? I don't remember. Yeah, something like that. I, I had to learn like so many enemy names uh, because we just actually finished up a, uh, a Pit of 100 Trials tournament for this game. Which I saw that. So many oh, enemies. Should we, should we hit the switch? Uh, no, how about a Thudley Jump? How about a Thudley Jump? It should be good. Nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Come on. There's one. I gotta do one more. Ooh. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Alright. See, so, yeah, I was trying to get up there with one Thudley Jump, and I almost did, but I think I just did Thudley Jumped a little too late for it to work. That's okay. Um, you know, so, doing that skipped an entire section of like, what do you usually do? You usually like fall down, and then yeah, you. Yeah, you have to fall down, and then you have to go uh, enter a door to the left and move the pipe to the correct order. It's like a little puzzle. I don't even remember the yeah, correct no, order. I, I haven't done it in years. So. All right. So, you know, this is so annoying. So, you know, the game developers put these mushrooms here, like thinking you're going to grab them. Like, come on. You can't think I'm that stupid to really fall for one and to heal. Oh, a mushroom! Ah, oh. oh, dang. It's always the third one. Man. Dang, it's always the third one. Come on, man. Uh, whatever. Let's just go ahead and... There we go. I suck at that room, and I'm glad I actually got it, so <laughs> that's good. Um, but yeah, you, you, you have to go down there, so, you know, uh, ends up, you know, working out. <laughs> All right, um... So coming up here, so we saw Merlin earlier. Well, why don't we see Merly? So Merly is going to ask us three questions. She's going to ask, what are we afraid of? So I think, personally, we're afraid of an Ultra Shroom. Think so? Yeah. Oh, I also, I hate fuzzies. Fuzzies, touch fuzzy, get dizzy, but Oh my gosh, an oh, amazing Daisy. Amazing Daisy hell. Okay, that you. one I'm actually scared. Yeah, all, let me tell all, you. all memes aside, I'm actually, let me I actually don't like me. That don't is like actually the correct answer. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the gimmick is, you know, you tell Merle 
Merly. Yoshi, uh, we got a couple chat members confused why you didn't say Francis. Oh, I, mm, mm, you know, no. <laughs> That's my answer. Just no, I don't want to fight Francis again. But yes, the, the, as you can see, we got an amazing Daisy of Fuzzy and that. But welcome to the Mimi fight. So Mimi is a very interesting fight. It's going to be in her spider form again, but she's going to have a new move where she basically spins around in like a diamond thing, whatever you want to call it, like in, as like a gear, and um, spin around the room, and it wastes so much time. But if I jump at a very specific time with Peach, yeah, we get to fight as Peach, then um, I should be able to skip it and get what's known as a one cycle. Also, sorry for anyone who's afraid of cracking necks or spiders. Um, yeah, here it is again. All right, so here, let's see if I can... Let's see if I can get this. Let's see if I can get a one cycle. It's not that hard to get, but it could be easy to mess up. That is a one cycle. Nice. Perfect. Very, very quick. So you might have heard the kind of gear sound. That was basically her about to go into her gear form, but I avoided it. Yep, so to get that, um, there's really like two or three phases, like two or three specific hits that you need to get that, or else you know she'll do her, uh, her gear attack, and I believe it's a seven frame window that you have to hit. Is it so. a seven frame window? Yes, I think it's a seven frame window. I'm, I'm pretty positive, but um, <laughs> you know, it really just, it really comes down to the timing. You know, some people use like a visual timing, others use an audio cue, so. Whatever works. Peach is holding on for dear life. And bye, Peach. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bye, Peach. Also, that was uh, that fight right there. The game basically forced Peach into our party again, even though you know we did. Also. Mario's got the heelys. Yeah, look at him go. <laughs> we call it Scooter Mario, or I, I started calling them Heely Mario, because you know, you know, like those kids that had the heelys. Just, oh man. Yep. All right, eight three is probably, in my opinion, the hardest uh, part of eight three, or I'm sorry, of chapter eight, in my opinion, because there's just kind of a lot to do. Um, that you will see. All right, so we like to go fast, as I've mentioned before. So what we're gonna do to go fast is get a fast flower. And we're just gonna go ahead and flip into 3D just to avoid all of this. And here's an interesting thing. So normally you have to follow a path and go above, right? Well, for whatever reason, and this was recently, okay, not recently, but this wasn't discovered until like, a couple years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago. You could just tap up there and just go down, and it works. Yeah, it works. It's pretty nice. There's a bunch of gimmicks like that in this level where you uh, you pretty much have to follow a specific path, or when you enter the door, it'll just send you back to the beginning. Um, so you have to, you know, pretty much meet all of the checkpoints that are required. But in that room, all you have to do is just touch up there once. So you can go to the end of the room, just quickly touch with Luigi, and then, you know, enter the door. That's it. Oof, nice damage. <laughs> All right, so I need to remember not to use a my atomic because I already, like, because I already used one by accident. Um, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, get this. Um, all right, so coming up in this room, we have to do a little bit of puzzles. Um, remember, serves me right, because I usually have notes. It's the right block, then the middle block, then the right block, then it's middle, right, left. Yep. Yay, I remember stuff. Shouts to doing this run so many times to where I can remember stuff. Ah, uh, nah. Nice. Yeah, that, that, during all of those cutscenes, those magic blots will spawn and they will throw projectiles at you, and sometimes you just get hit. Don't do it again. Ooh, close. I will sue. If I could. Yeah, it's tough. They, depending on what uh, what color magic blot they are, like the red ones will do six damage. Uh, it, it adds up. Actually. I think I remember Castle almost died in this yes. room. Yeah, I've seen some people get really unlucky and just drain their health constantly. It's unfortunate. Go away. Uh, uh, there we go. Nice. Don't you dare. Don't you dare spawn kill me. You. Nice. Oh. Oh, uh, the stress. The stress. Go. Get away. Go <laughs> yeah. Away. All right. No way. 
We have to go through a few more rooms, but this shouldn't be too bad. Man, those guys just wanted me. They wa they were out for blood! What's up with that? Alright, so good thing is my leveling is all good to where I'm going to level up to um, 300,000 by the end of the next fight. The um, next fight's going to be just a little bit slower, but it's not going to be too bad. We're here to have fun. We're here to raise money for a good cause. And it's fun to do SPM again. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oops. Shouts out to Urban Arts. Once again, anybody at home. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anybody at home, if you would like to donate, all of your donations uh, go directly to supporting Urban Arts. And we do have incentives which you can put money towards. For example, $25, you will be entered into a raffle for a Nintendo Switch giveaway. So please donate if you would like. So this room, we do have to actually follow the order. So we have to go up right here, and then we have to go up right here, go up right here, go up right here, go away. <laughs> there we go. Oops. And I should have actually swapped to Mario there. That would have been a hit off All right, so I'm just going to jump, 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 jump. Jump, flip into 3D, and go through this mirror. And wow, that's a lot of dimensions. Yeah, that is a uh, that's a lot of dimensions. So you, you can actually use cut here, and <laughs> I forget. Uh, I think this was you could do this in TTYD somewhere, but you know they'll basically just uh, keep swarming you, and you can just clear them out with cut. You can do that with the uh, the sparks. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That one's actually required though. This is not. <laughs> yeah. All right. So welcome to. A wild goose chase. Dementio is going to teleport us back to chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yes. So we get to play the entire game again, guys. You ready? All right, we're gonna start at the start of the run. All right, and here we go. So sorry, Milo, we're gonna be going for an extra four hours. I hope you don't mind. Meaningless content. We're, we're here at the start of the game again. All don't, right. Don't, don't, don't worry, Milo, no, we're, we're, we're fine. Don't freak out. Or Artemis. None of you freak out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, I guess a little fun fact. Um, these aren't separate rooms. These are actually the, like, the exact rooms that you're in. Um, like, that you would be in at the start of the game. It's just a different flag. So if it was possible to update the like flag, I did not mean to switch to carry, it's not faster there. Um, if it was possible to update the flag, then we could just skip right to chapter eight. You could, yeah, technically. Yeah, but it's not, unfortunately. All right, so we like thudly jumping, so we're gonna do another thudly jump. Um, instead of doing scanner skip, or not scanner skip, instead of doing uh, like slim skip, that's, that's slim. Uh, we're gonna do some thudly jumps. There's one. And there's two. Thudly jumping. Nice. I don't think it was actually faster because why did <laughs> I keep switching to carry prematurely? <laughs> don't mind me, just I wanna go fast with carry. Of course for chapter three it puts us back in the water level. That's yeah, of course, nice. you know. That's very nice. Okay. Stop switching to carry. Okay, well I can actually I can switch to carry for the next one. All right, so we're just gonna jump up here and here we go. I was like really off there, yet it still worked. <laughs> so chapter four. The good thing is, is it actually puts us in a brief, like a decent level in chapter four. Uh. We do indeed like going fast, I believe, so let's just get this again. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, I was trying to sabotage. All right. <laughs> Yoshi, can you please go a little slower? This is a little too fast. Oh, uh, go I'm going a little too fast. <laughs> too fast? <laughs> uh, nah, I think I'll go as fast as I want for charity. Yeah, you can't argue with charity. For Urban Arts, let's go. For Urban Arts. Here's a cool little trick you can do right here. So we have Fleep and we can just, boom. Yeah, that's really cool. All right, so guys, we're going to chapter six now. What do you think we're gonna be in? 
Where do you think we're going to be? Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! So, we get to hold right again. Now, the thing is, it's a white background. The thing that flashes is only a little bit of a different color than the white. So I have to listen and keep my eyes peeled yeah, you, for it. You definitely need to pay attention and pay attention to the audio cues for sure. The good thing is I actually listen to the music so I know around when it comes. <laughs> Let's just jump over there. Tamar King was pretty depressing. Can you think of a, of a place that's just white like this? No, I don't have anything. Dang, really? Somebody said Maryland. <laughs> Maryland. <laughs> so right here, and there it is. So I'm actually going to switch to Luigi. Let's go. We get to see Luigi again. All right, and we get to do the section one more time and see if I do it better. Even with taking that damage, I think I did do that pretty good. All right. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So now it is time. JCR, would you like to explain what is going to happen right now? Yeah. So obviously we're you know we're going into the dementia fight here, um, and there's a, once again another portion of the game where if you say yes like three times in a row, I think uh, you can game over here. This late into the game, this late into the run, if you say yes three times, you will game over. And uh, I myself happen to be on the Twitch front page in a marathon doing a speed run of this game, and I happen to not pay attention for a solid 20 seconds, and I lost my run to this. Yeah! Let's go! <laughs> All right. All right, so this fight, you suck. <laughs> So this fight, you, um, I would normally be doing it a lot faster. Oh my gosh. Holy. Oh, I might actually die. Holy crap. Force to as well. Okay. Um, okay, so I have to hit him eight times, I believe. I have to play this a little safer. Oh, come on. You suck. Okay. Okay. How many hits am I on? I, I think it's two. Okay. No, not yet. Okay. Okay. I just don't know this fight. Yeah. Normally we use a mighty tonic, and it's yeah. a lot faster. Yeah. 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 Why? Oh, okay. 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 Oh my gosh, another one. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we got through it. All right, that was kind of stressful because I didn't realize how low I was. I should have healed. It's all good. You got the level up. So. Yeah, that is, uh, once again, um, we did get the attack level up, but yeah, you're normally meant to have the Mighty Tonic here. It's, it's much, much faster, but uh, yeah, we got through it. We got through it. That was a little nerve-wracking. No, not Luigi. No. No! No! Everyone is gone. We only have Mario. Yeah, yeah Mario! No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so note to self, never forget the Mighty Tonic or else that fight's a lot stressful. Or never eat the Mighty Tonic by accident. <laughs> We'll try, we'll try, we'll try. Alrighty. Here we are. 8 4. This is it. Last level of the game. The final chapter. The final countdown. The final frontier. Everything. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so funny enough, this chapter, at least, you know, getting through it, um, like, before the fight, is only about five minutes. Only about five minutes long from start to finish. No, world record is gonna end in like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we want to stop time. Can we, yeah, change a new timing method to. Uh... <laughs> timing change live. Let's go. Oh, where is that? Okay, there it is. 
Don't you dare magic bots. Don't you dare magic bots. Uh, of course. All right, so here comes a little cycle that I'm going to do, and uh, hopefully I get it. Because uh, you lose a decent amount of time if I don't get it. Let's see if I can get it. All right. And nice! And that's Very actually nice. a bit harder because moving in 3D space is not the easiest. No, especially not on a D-pad. Uh, again, any 3D movement is done on a D-pad, so you pretty much got the, the directions and that's it. And then, oh, oh that's fine. That's all good. Uh, yeah, I'll just wait. So you can make that cycle. Um, what we used to do is we used to do like a thudly jump. But you can make that cycle. It's a little easier. It's not the easiest thing in the world. As you saw, I failed it. But that's okay. Oops. All right. You ready for the one spot we use Dottie? Here it is. The one spot, the one and only spot we use Dottie. Let's go. All right. Dottie. Dottie. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. All right. We're so tiny. And actually, we're going to do a little bit of a cancel right here with, uh, with Dottie. So watch this. I did not actually want to switch to carry. That's okay. But yeah, look, we're, f we're flat. All right. Last subtly jumps of the run. Only two. All right. All right, here we go. There's one. And there we go. We have done every Thudley jump Goodbye, in the run. Goodbye, Thudley. Goodbye, Thudley. We will not see you again for the rest of this run. <laughs> oh, you guys missed Thudley? You want me to do another Thudley jump just for fun? <laughs> All right. <laughs> do another 50? I don't know. Uh, go back to 7-3. <laughs> All right. Uh, maybe. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Run back, yeah. Yeah, hey, Milo, can can I like can we like do like a Super Paper Mario like LTA? You know, no, that'd be so long. Encore, good lord. Hundred percent. I missed the door, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right there. It's all good. This lags a lot, by the way. Yep. Wait, it's more. No, no, no. You got it. You got it. I, I do. Oh my gosh, I don't know this game. That's it. I don't know this game for some reason. There it is. This is proof I didn't practice for ten before. Speed right, running, yeah. Speed running, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay. We, we've got time to spare. <laughs> yeah, you know. I don't know if this is actually sub four pace, and if it is, don't tell me because who knows. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see when the run... I don't think it is, but I honestly, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't know what my time is like here on the split. If it, if this is sub four, though, that would be like... I, I, I made so many mistakes this run. I wouldn't know how I got it. So that's why I'm not going to be too hopeful. Especially that Dementia fight. That Dementia fight took like a minute. <laughs> Mario, woohoo! All right, so the whole 8-4 uh, 3D maze has been completed, and here we are. The final steps. Going Literally, the final steps. The Count Black Boss. VLJ. VLJ. <laughs> here we go. All right. It is time for the RNG of this game, Count Black. You want to mention why it's RNG? Yeah, so Count Black's patterns, unfortunately, they are RNG. Count Black has like four or five different uh, patterns or attacks that he'll use. Uh, and the start of the fight is pretty predictable. I think he uses like, the first two or three like attacks pretty consistently in a row. Uh, but from there, and, uh, it's just complete RNG, as well as where he spawns in. Uh, is RNG. So what Yoshi's gonna do, in fact, uh, he's already got the earbuds in, but uh, he's actually gonna use stereo audio to listen to uh, what side of the room black is spawning. Come on. Okay, one more. Oh. Okay, there we go. I just need to hit him three times there and then one time here. Alright. There we go. Alright, so there we go. So that's the first part. The invincibility frame. Oh no! He's invincible! We can't beat him! Oh no! 
But guess what? With the power of the pure hearts, and uh, guess who's back? Oh, it's Bowser. Here they are. Wait, wait, it's Bowser. Thanks. Wait. It's PJ and Luigi! Yeah. <laughs> we got some Luigi hype. <laughs> so with the power of the pure hearts, we can negate. We can we, yeah, and Luigi and the power of Luigi. <laughs> Luigi's power is used for something different. Yeah. Yeah, All right, unfortunately, we don't get to fight as Luigi, Bowser, and Carrie, and a Mighty Tonic are just pretty overpowered. All right, so we're now actually going to be using that Mighty Tonic. I don't think, I think it's, um, all right, let's go ahead and switch to Bowser. All right, and so now i got to shake the remote, and uh, essentially, this is where the RNG comes in. So bless RNG, everyone. Where are you? Ooh, okay. No! Ah, oh, that arm's okay. Okay, it's okay. Oh dang it, I almost got two hits. Ooh, hi there. Thank you. Okay. No, you don't, aw. Oh. Ooh. There we ah, go! Right, let's go! <laughs> yeah! Right. That was not the worst RNG in the world. I'll take it. Alright. So that is the only big RNG part of the fight. So I will take that any day of the week. I will take that. And that's the Chaos Heart. It's not the Chaos Emerald. This ain't a Sonic game. Sonic isn't even in this marathon. Well, except for the fact that he was in Super Monkey Ball. Oh, uh, so a little bit of lore. Uh, Count Black is actually Blumier, and Tippy and Count Black were actually uh, basically together. Woohoo! Yay, love! <laughs> Wait, what? What's Wait, what's going on? Uh, Dementio? Really? Oh, whatever. We'll just we'll just beat you. We'll we'll just beat Dementio, right? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the mid show. Yeah, yeah. Wait, hang on. Wait, wait, Luigi? Uh, wait, Luigi? Luigi? Are, are you good, man? What? <laughs> what? Luigi's Mr. L? What? what? No, Luigi's a villain? No. What? Who could have seen this coming? <laughs> oh, who would have thought? <laughs> JCR, did you keep this secret from me? No, I, I swear, I had no idea this was going to happen. <laughs> Luigi, there he is! Luigi is the final boss! <laughs> Alright, so unfortunately, we are in another invincibility phase where we cannot damage Luigi, but we have to damage him three times. All right. He's invincible. You can't win? No, yep. Sorry, guys. Can't win. Uh, run's over. Not yet. Oh, yeah, the world's ending. How unfortunate, as Merlin says. <laughs> it's so unfortunate. Cutscenes. Woohoo! Time to just mash, 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 mash. So yeah, essentially to explain the lore of Tippy and Count Black, their real names are Timpany and Blumier. Basically, they were in love, married, boyfriend, girlfriend, I don't know. Uh, Tippy went through, or Timpany went through a tragic fate where she almost died and the only way she could be saved was to be turned into a butterfly by Merlin. And Blumier, basically in despair, kind of became evil because he lost his love. And uh, so you kind of find out that uh, Bleck isn't actually that much of a villain. He was just kind of, uh, he just kind of thought his, uh, his lover died. And 
It looks like with the power of friendship, the pure hearts can be used again. Let's go. <laughs> the power of love. <laughs> and Luigi. All right, so this fight is literally just going to be a spam of um, Bowser and uh, Bowser and Carrie. Now you can use Dudley, but uh, we're not going to do that. All right, for the last time, using a Mighty Tonic. All right, and let's see how well I can do this. Come on, I'm getting hit a lot. I'm getting hit a lot. Got it. All right, there we go. There That's we the go. final boss. All right. We saved Luigi. Okay, I'm not sure, but I think this is either barely going to get sub four or it's barely going to miss. I don't actually know. I don't actually remember. <laughs> it could be if you mash, maybe. I don't know. I'm mashing as fast <laughs> as I can! Oh, no. All right, well, while I am mashing my heart out, we're going to go ahead and end time whenever the credits start. I, I don't actually know if this is a sub four. I, I, I can't tell. It's, it's very close. I it's going to be very close. I don't want the chat. Don't read the chat or anything. I'm not going to look at the chat. We're just going to let it find out. If this is a sub four, holy crap. <laughs> All right. Um, but anyways. Let's go ahead and get into some shoutouts. Uh, as we are finishing the run, just huge shoutouts to the Super Paper Mario community, just the Paper Mario community in general, for just absolutely breaking this game. There's just so much that's been found that just we keep finding, and it's just, it's awesome. Like, you know, back like a few years ago, like when the game, when even I started running the game, Sub 4 wasn't even a thing, Sub 4 10 wasn't even a thing, mm -hmm. and it just, it became, a, it became a dream, and then it became reality, and it was awesome. Uh, Shoutouts to a few of the runners. Uh, I'm sure JCR would help me out with some of them, but uh, let's go ahead and list some of them. I'm sorry if I forget your name. So Zach, uh, Castle, Flash is an old school runner. Um, let's see. Obviously JCR, he runs this game as well. Yeah, Slopped Up. Uh, Slop, Slop Dop runs this game, or he used to run this game. I can, I can name some off. Uh, ben, Stevie, Zyle, John. Uh, I'm trying to think of more. I think that's yeah. Hey, shouts out to anyone in the, in the Super Paper Mario community. Yeah, shouts to the Glitch Hunters, the uh, the Tassers, the uh, Egermi. Egermi. Yeah, Egermi. Yeah, shouts out to Egermi. Egermi is a great runner as well. Uh, yeah, it's just been really fun picking up this game. Uh, you know, I run the other two Paper Mario's as well, not as consistently, but I've done runs of Paper Mario 64 and Thousand Year Door, and I just decided one day to kind of pick up SPM because I heard good things about it, and I was like. You know what? Why not? Uh, I'll give it a try. Um, and well, I just kind of got hooked, and I and I love it. I don't speed run it as much as I usually do because you know life gets busy. But uh, I do want to get back into running it a bit more and improving my time because my time is not good. Um, my time currently, unless this beats it, is a 4:59:58. So just barely sub two. Or is it sub two? Sub four. Sub two, everyone! <laughs> um, and I usually play on the Japanese version, but it's actually sub four on the English version, which is uh, pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just such a fun game. Uh, there are a few hard tricks in the run, but it is very easy for anyone to get into. Like, it's a lot of the tricks that we found, the gold bar clip, just it, it made it a lot easier. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be. I'm looking at the time. I don't think it's gonna be. No, <laughs> it's all right. Um, just a lot of the tricks found just made this uh, game a lot better. Just a lot easier to speed run, and it's just it's just been a wild ride. It's a wild ride, and yeah. Do you have any shouts you want to give JCR? Sure, I got a couple. Yeah, uh, I mean, I joined this community. I started running this game when there was only like two active runners, and that was it. Uh, it was just me and a couple people, but now, you know, our Discord server almost has like a thousand members. We have uh, tons of runners on the leaderboard now. Um, this game has grown so much, and it's been an honor to be a part of that for all these years. Um, I want to give a huge shout out, obviously, to Pace for allowing us to oh, yeah. play SPM in this marathon. It's been great. 
Uh, it's been so much fun. Thank you all for having us. Uh, and if you're interested in this game, uh, whether you want to run it or whether you're just interested in keeping up with it, a uh, great place to go is speedrun.com slash SPM. Uh, you can find our Discord link. You can find resources, anything you need. Um, and we also have channels on Twitch and YouTube uh, just called SPM Community, which uh, on YouTube in particular, we actually made a world record progression for this game, uh, which some of you might have seen. So I'm in it, yay. <laughs> yes, Yoshi is in it. So if you want to watch more of Yoshizilla, uh, there is a video for you. But um, yeah, thank you all once again. It's been an honor to be here. It's been thanks so much fun. To, thanks to the Late Night Crew for staying up for this run. Yeah, shout out. You guys are awesome. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. You guys are a hype crowd. Um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. I don't even feel tired. It's not even four in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> urban Arts, yes. Yes, Urban Arts. Again, if you would like to donate, I know we're you know, pretty much about done with our run, but still, you can still donate. Uh, we have incentives going on for a Nintendo Switch giveaway if you would like to enter. And all proceeds are going directly to Urban Arts, which is a great cause. So, yeah, if you'd like to donate, please do so. It is just going to miss it. If oh, I, if, so close. If I hadn't had so messed close. up on uh, freaking uh, Dementia, it would have been sub four. Yeah. Ah, yeah, oh, that's unfortunate. So close. Hey, that's a great run, though. Yeah, it's still a great run. Almost. Oh. <laughs> Only a few seconds off. There it goes. There it goes. Almost. Maybe next time. But anyways, time is coming up. And that is time. All righty. There we go. Just barely, almost sub four. Whatever, I'll take it. I'll still take it. GG. All Let's right. Go. Well, Godspeed to the runner after me, because it's currently four in the morning. And uh, yeah. Anyways, that is it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. Almost got sub four, but you know, hey, that's okay. It was still a great run, anyways. And I got an underestimate. So yeah, uh, these are great credits, but let's go ahead and get on to the next run. So thank you all for having me. Thank you guys so much.